Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name's Richard and I'm coming to you today from what I believe is the best cruise ship in the world. Now, before I tell you the cruise ship, I'm gonna tell you two years ago, I thought this was the worst cruise company in the world. I think some of you might know where we're headed here. Uh, I worked for Celebrity. I've sailed on Royal Caribbean as a kid forever. I've gone on Norwegian. So I have the rights to compare all of these. And if you go on Celebrity, Royal Caribbean, or Norwegian, what's the one cruise line they make fun of? More than anything else, they go, Carnival, the Walmart of the seas. Every freaking comedian, except those on Carnival, Princess, and Holland America. So yes, I'm on a Carnival ship that I believe is the number one ship in the world. And the carnival ship I'm on is the Carnival Celebration. Now, in my last review of this ship, which was in April of 2023, it's currently uh, end of September, it turns October tomorrow, 2023, uh, I called it the, uh, the uh, what was it, the, the Walmart of the Oasis of the Virgin Voyages of the Carnival of the Seas. It's got features of all of those different ships. Here's the thing, if you know me, if you know no pants, I'm gonna make a statement, but I'm gonna back up that statement. This video is gonna go on for a while because I'm gonna take you around the entire ship. The only reason I'm gonna cut the video is if I have to pee or throw up, and throw up is, a, is, is an important factor. I'm gonna take you around the ship and I'm gonna explain my rationale because you don't have to believe me. Uh, you know, it's not let me tell you, let me show you. So I'm gonna show you why I believe this ship is the best ship in the world. Yes, the Jubilee's coming out. I will be on the Jubilee in the inaugural month. Yes, the Mardi Gras here. They're all in the same class. I haven't been on the Mardi Gras yet. Uh, I've been on this ship. So this is the newest ship in Carnival's fleet, technically. Um, but <laughs> along the way, you know, if you know this channel, we gonna be drinking. This is drink number one of the day. Now the Carnival, a, a big contention, big point of contention with Carnival is if you get the drink package, you can only have 15 drinks a day. Even I'm on the casino drink package, got really drunk last night, I'm kind of hungover right now. Now I will tell you, um, I got really drunk at 3.17 a.m. I hit a massive jackpot, but <laughs> that's irrelevant, but uh, I'm still hung over from that because I do drink for free in the casino. Almost everyone drinks for free in the casino on a Carnival cruise ship. But we're going to start, we're going to do more than 15 drinks today. And I'll explain to you how. We're not going to wait any more bars. We're going to start with the Oktoberfest. They literally tapped this this week. Right behind me, we're going to go in there in a minute, they actually have a fully functioning brewery and barbecue restaurant on a cruise ship. So, you know, Virgin Voyages has their own beer that's really made off the ship but Carnival has their own beer that's actually made on the ship and there's a really cool way you can get more than 15 drinks if you do it this way so let's uh oh that's too cold couldn't finish it in one gulp I need a second little go oh. so this beer came out to about eight dollars just as a fun fyi it's made right behind me i'll take you in there we're kind of in the vestibule right now before it eight dollar beer ah he took it but no i need this one because i have more beer here so this very nice gentleman gave him took my beer because he doesn't want it's sitting here but i don't mind i can't go out there because it's a pool deck and we'll talk about that in a minute but here's the thing well that's some spillover but I got another glass. Carnival sells growlers. Single beer was $8. This is five beers right here for 20 bucks. It's better than any bucket you're gonna get on any cruise ship, period. Now you do buy this up front for 40, but you can refill it with any beer they make on board for 20 bucks. So for right now, for right now, I'll put a little bit in my glass. You'll see, just open it up. It's got kind of a, if you're familiar with a Grolsch, it's got an opening system like a Grolsch. So I can just pour, well, I only have so many hands. I can just pour a little bit of beer. Well, a little bit of beer. Okay, 
It's kind of hard to pour beer in a glass with one hand while recording. That's how successfully I did that. And I'm not even, oh wait, you're new here. I'm not even drunk yet. If you're a normal viewer of the channel, you might know about this little gadget. Huh? Calculating. So this is a breathalyzer. I've gone through a lot of breathalyzers over the years. This one should say almost nothing because I just had like one sip of beer. Now, sometimes you have some residual alcohol in your mouth that makes this go crazy cuckoo luku. Yeah, 0.011. Sounds about correct. So, you know, the problem is I can't have glass on the pool deck. So I'm gonna finish this little bit I have here. And do you know what I have now? You guys are like, oh, I got one more for you. Cause I'm gonna go out to the pool deck. Thank you. You know what I have now? Is that glass? No. I can bring this on the pool deck. That's the cool thing. So these, these ships nowadays, they're all getting inventive with where they're putting pools. They don't just have one pool. They have a lot of pools. So out in the back of the barbecue place, they have a pool deck. Uh, the MSC ship, the Seascape, is very similar to this as well. They've got a pool deck, they've got hot tubs, they've got all that stuff right out in the back of the cruise ship. Uh, and it's, it's one of those innovations that's coming on newer ships and coming on newer ships and coming on newer ships. And we're going to go up to the top where there's a damn roller coaster. But uh, now we don't have a glass. We're a lot more mobile. And I got five beers in here. So uh, let's talk about, we talked about that pool area out there. We are now in what's called the watering hole. Guy's Pig and Anchor, not, yeah, Guy's Pig and Anchor Barbecue. This has the brewery inside of it. We'll start with the beer and we'll go from there. So this has the brewery inside of it. It has an awesome, 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 awesome bar. Probably my third favorite bar on the ship. We will go to all of my favorite bars. Probably my third favorite bar on the ship. And the cool thing is they brew their beer in one million dollar clear brewing vessels it's amazing uh, and the cool thing is they do tours so you can actually take a tour learn how they make the beer and yes you get to taste everything they make on board they just tapped the Oktoberfest this is on a damn cruise ship uh, it's it's really amazing they don't take anything off the ship but they do keg their beers here and send them around the ship so every bar on board has at least one of the carnival beers that's actually made on board and i think that's pretty cool i mean i guess i have to cheers to that oh there went my growler see i don't have to worry about pouring anymore because we're gonna be we're gonna be classy now and we're just gonna drink right out the bottle i like to drink right out the taps but so there's five beers in here when this is empty i'll be sure to let you know but i got a backpack on and I got more surprises in that backpack for later. So definitely, you know, stick around for that. So this is Guy's Pig and Anchor. They make beer here. They have really good cocktails. On sea days and embarkation day, they have a buffet we're gonna go look at for lunch. And on uh, every night, this is open for dinner and it is mostly free, mostly complimentary, unless you want prime rib or ribs. So as long as you don't want any ribs, it's free for dinner. Uh, and they have a brownie sundae that's pretty damn good. That's like $5. Uh, but this is a big seating area. They also have, hey look, it's Saturday. Everyone's here watching football. This huge area right here. Again, we've got, this is the seating for the barbecue. Mainly at night is when this is really used for the barbecue. But during the day, they actually have outside, they have a whole buffet set up that you can get barbecue at. This is all included. I think that's the amazing thing you're gonna see over the next god I don't I don't even know how long this video is gonna be uh, but you're gonna see over the next question mark time you're going to see um, a lot uh, you gonna see just how many food venues there are so we'll see you've got all kinds of different what we got we got pork butt smoked, smoked beef Blue ribbon chicken, smoked sausage. They have a cheddar sausage for dinner that's really, really good. They, he makes the sausage. 
sausage. You actually make the sausage on board? No. He's from Walmart. You, you make you make the sausage fresh on board? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. You actually do? You put the you put it in the casing and everything? Oh, very cool. He is the leader? Yeah, master. Master. So master, question. You have a smoker there, right? Those are you are those the two smokers you use? Now they use they're electric, right? Yeah, we smoke beef and uh, sausage. Right, but my question was so they're electric smokers, right? But yeah, they use wood they pellets? There is a wood also. This is electric. Right? It's electric, but yeah. you have the wood for the flavor. Hickory wood for you smoke. But it's but it's a um the hickory wood is heated up by electric, correct? It's not heated up yeah. by gas. Yeah. That's not there's no fire in there. Oh there's gas? Yes. Oh wow, okay. So you have actual propane for that. Yeah, propane. Well, the propane. ship runs on it. <laughs> Very cool. Also, thank you. <laughs> so, believe it or not, they have gas because the ship runs on it. This is one of the cleanest running cruise ships in the world. I got a nasty comment earlier in the week, I'll tell you. That was like, this ship pollutes so much. Now they're building new ships that run on LNG, liquefied natural gas. I don't really know if that's propane, but it's gas. Uh, and you know you've got that lng you've got that liquefied natural gas which makes this literally the greenest ship in the world too which is really weird um but it's also really freaking awesome uh, the only weird thing is you're not allowed to be out on the deck with your cell phone while they're refilling because it's like a gas station uh it's there's flammable flames and, and flumes in the air but they've got the barbecue they've got it for uh Again, for lunch on sea days and embarkation day, which is the day you get on. And then they've got the uh, bar, they make the beer on board, and they even have, right over here, the Heroes Lounge, which has all you can eat ice cream in it. The ice cream line is uh, a little cray cray right now. I'm not actually getting ice cream. Excuse me. I'm not actually getting ice cream, but I'll show you the machine. There's the ice cream machines right there. I don't know. Why that one's is working, it's not working. Sometimes, yeah, the, the right machine's working and no one's there. It's just, uh, oh, oh no, it says ready. Sometimes people just like waiting in line. That is the watering hole. Now, the thing is, the reason I've got this right now is we're gonna go up to the pool deck. And when you go up to the pool deck, you can't have any glass on the pool deck. Guess what this is? It identifies as not glass. Now, we will be back down to deck eight later, but I like to do this. I don't think I told you what time it is. It is 1.36 p.m. That is a very busy time up in the Lido deck, up in the buffet, up in the pool deck, everywhere like that. Um, and that's a uh, useful time to kind of give you a full perspective of how busy the ship may be. Now, most pool decks on most cruise ships in the world yeah, most pool decks on most cruise ships in the world just have a buffet. 11. 11. I'm sorry. I'm the, I'm the elevator. I stood in the elevator pressing the thing. <laughs> so, yeah, most cruise ships on their pool decks have a um, just a buffet or maybe a place to get burgers. Carnival went a little overboard with this uh, pool deck. And I say that in the, the best way possible. There are so many food options. Deck that head. you can get on this pool deck it's absolutely clinically insane so we're on deck 10 we're going from deck 8 up to deck 16. they've got burgers they've got chicken they've got tacos they've got something called street eats which i've done an entire series on they've got seafood they've got gyro they've got hot dogs they've got deck ice cream 11. they've got but and these are all different stations that's what's really crazy about the whole thing this is not like Okay, the buffet has all these things. No, these are completely different, unique stations throughout the ship. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take a look at some of these unique stations. We're just riding the elevator real quick. We're at deck 15. We've got one more deck to go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes when you're drinking, you don't see people behind you. So uh, don't stand behind me. Uh, this is the most impressive part of the ship in my personal opinion now i love beer so for me the brewery is but you know for other people the most impressive part of the ship is deck 16. deck 16 
on these ships is absolutely phenomenal. Now, we went up eight decks, and guess what's in the back again? There's another pool deck. There's another pool deck back here. You know, I like to make fun of uh, Virgin because uh, Virgin Voyages' capacity of all their pools together is like 42. I understand that's the answer to life, the universe, and everything, but you shouldn't have a ship that can hold 2,800 people and you can only hold 42 people in your pool. I mean, this is a small pool and there are kids here. Trust me, we will talk about kids. Um, but then you also have the best thing, they have the lifeguards here. And the lifeguard, he wears his Crocs in sport mode. Are those work issued Crocs? They yes. give you Crocs? Yes. So all the lifeguards wear Crocs? Yes. That's Same. amazing. That's amazing. They all wear Crocs. But yeah, we're, we're not on deck eight anymore. We're up, up, up really high, but it kind of looks like deck eight. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I gave you guys some drugs. Don't do crack. Uh, if you saw the crack, you'll understand that joke. We're up really high. There are so many pools on this ship, it's ridiculous. Now, like I said, we're going to talk about kids. There is an adult-only area that's got pools, hot tubs, everything like that, and there's no kids allowed. We will make it there. But since we're up here, let's start talking about some of the insane food options that are up here on this deck. First of all, decks, again, this is my favorite pool deck on any cruise ship, and I hate pools. I hate outdoors. <laughs> You've got shacks big chicken this is something that is only on this uh on this and the mardi gras this is a new shack chicken restaurant people really love it so i think as carnival finds the room they're gonna go back and put these back on all of their ships um you can make something so they they, they are open for breakfast i know it's crazy and they serve breakfast till 3 p.m you can get chicken strips you can get chicken sandwiches you can get they have one what's my favorite one the big aristotle is actually my favorite one that's my favorite one is the big Aristotle. I love that. Uh, it's spicy, it's shacky, and hey, if you want to see how tiny you are compared to the man himself, I mean, I, uh, I'm on like, I'm a shack's boobies. You know how boobies. But you've got a toppings bar, you've got all that, and trust me, we are, we are just getting started. The problem is, I'm thirsty. Woo! That beer. That beer has a uh, smoke coming off of it. Mm. Oh, it's a good beer. But like I said, I'm thirsty. So I uh, have some parched pig amber is what I'm drinking there. Not the Oktoberfest. The amber probably my third favorite amber in the world number one is alaskan amber but yeah shack's big chicken right by the pool on the back but let's continue i like to show you just how busy things are or in although you can compare your hand to shack's hand yeah he's probably got eight or ten inches on me i'm not talking about hands all right so we keep moving down keep moving on keep moving on all right So, we've got kind of a traditional buffet here uh, to start. This is not where I want to focus on, but I think people are so entrenched in the traditional buffet world of cruise ships that this is a traditional buffet. It's a good buffet. Dirty rice, crispy Parmesan veal, Hawaiian pulled pork, vegetarian fritters, mustard potatoes, corn succotash, there's a couple things there that actually look pretty damn good. But that's not why you're watching this video. You're saying, okay, Jack's Big Chicken, that's included. That's not, uh, that's, you don't have to pay extra or anything for that. That's included. Also included, all you want gyro. They've got beef and they've got chicken right there on the spit. He's making it. Uh, this is open for lunch every single day. Included. Also, a lot of ships will charge you for gelato. Carnival. Makes the gelato right in front of you. I'm just looking. Thank you. Carnival makes the gelato right in front of you. And you can get it right out of the machine, which is what's really cool. And guess what? Again, the flavors change every single day. And gotta say again, it's included. Uh, even here, 
you've got a separate hot dog station. I know some of you are going, where's the burgers? Don't worry. Don't worry, we'll get there. You've got a separate hot dog station that has not only hot dogs, has not worse, Polish sausages, uh, normal beef franks. They have different stuff, different days too, right? You have different hot dogs, different days. Because I remember there's like some white ones and other stuff like I'm very good, thank you. Sauerkraut. So I mean, you've got sea dogs, which is hot dogs. We, we are scratching the surface of the food on the pool deck right now literally scratching the surface uh, i mean this is the best cruise ship in the world I, i'll fight you because you come on any other cruise ship <laughs> we'll get to pizza there's no pizza up here pizza somewhere else but you go on any other cruise ship in the world you have a little rinky dink buffet up here you're not going to have gyro every day you're not going to have different flavor gelato made every day you're not going to have four different types of hot dogs every day that's and, and it's not that busy there's so many food options on this ship again we are at 1 45 in the afternoon on a sea day the last day of the cruise the first day look does everyone come up here and jam up this buffet on embarkation day yes it does guess what i made a video that tells you how to avoid all that keyword is go get some pizza barbecue and go to the deli but we're just walking through the buffet right now and we're going to exit out into the main pool um, actually, I want to talk about something before that. So, Carnival is actually exceptionally good at something really cool, which is the menu mate. If you have any allergies, if you have anything like that, you just come here and they guide you, correct? Is that what you're doing here? So, they will guide you if you're a vegetarian, if you're any kind of special request. So, on the first day, you're open on the first day, on embarkation day, right? So, on embarkation day, they can come and you can kind of guide them through the cruise where to eat, correct? Yes. Yeah. So if you're gluten-free, if you're kosher, if you're vegetarian, vegan, I'm salad and salad intolerant. I made that up myself. I, I don't eat salad, but I give it up for Lent every year. But I just never eat it anyway. Okay. She looked at me like I'm absolutely batshit nutty. But you know what? Oh. I'll say cheers to that. If you think water's in there, water don't make noises like that. Ooh, good beer. Yeah, she looked at me like I'm absolutely batshit nutty. Um, but, that's good. I mean, it's, uh, they've got done everything right. The last time I did a review of this ship was in April, and I had to put caveats. I don't have caveats anymore. They've done nothing wrong. People can bitch and moan about their kids, if they're being kids and stuff like that. They've literally done nothing wrong, you know, other than limiting people who can tolerate more to 15 drinks a day. But I'm gonna pull the microphone a little bit closer to me because I don't need them blurred lines showing up. And we're out in the next section, which is the Tiki Bar. So yes, Carnival actually has a Tiki Bar on board. The thing that sucks about the, and I have that shirt. I love that shirt. I have that. <laughs> the thing that sucks about the Tiki Bar on board is they can't have fun glasses they serve you in. Why? Because it's at the pool deck. And since so it's at the pool deck, you can't have glasses. These are the strongest drinks on any carnival ship. Each of these drinks is about three drinks. Believe it or not, each of these drinks is three drinks. Uh, so <laughs> your uh, your 15 drink package can go really far. When I did a drink tour here last time, when I did a drinking tour around the ship last time, I actually started with two drinks here, a zombie and, and a, something else with 151 rum in it. Um, and yeah, I, 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 I fell off pretty quick. So the cruise director's there. What is going on here? You have to be careful on the lead on deck. Oh, look. If it's they're doing like a sexy man competition right now. That's, as long as they're not playing copywritten music, I'm happy. But you'll see that you've got a giant screen. You've got a pool. There's the cruise director. Oh, the legend of Lido. Basically, the sexy man competition. So we're just going to continue. We're going to continue around. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, they're doing... Oh, look. 
He's got a five o'clock somewhere ship on too. Shirt on, not ship on. But let's continue. I want to talk about what is personally my favorite feature on this pool deck. My favorite feature on this pool deck is something called Street Eats. So I have gone ahead and I have actually done all 21 dishes offered over the cruise. There are three food trucks of sorts. I call them food trucks. There are three food trucks that serve different types of food over the cruise. So they'll serve different types of food over the cruise from Asian food to different fries and everything like that. And I've done a review. Uh, the disc changes every day. We're on a seven day cruise. So I've done a review of these food trucks and everything that they offer. And I'll show them to you right now. So this is called Street Eats. The first of the Street Eats is called Mad Sizzle. This has kind of a Asian variety of food. Uh, and it's always done like stir fry stuff. Then you have steamed green, which is again kind of Asian a lot of the times. Uh, they got a lot of Asian stuff. Uh, I do have videos on every single dish they offer. There he is. And then you have time fries. A lot more American, but they change their dishes every single day. So on a seven day cruise, there's 21 different things to try. Now, there is one thing on the pool deck that costs money, well, food-wise, other than drinks, which is the seafood shack. It is very good. I don't generally pay for it. Generally, the casino will comp me and I'll get some money at the seafood shack, but you're basically playing market price for everything here. Let's, uh, let's take a look. I got lobster roll is $18. Fried buffalo shrimp for 10 bucks. There's your market price for steamed lobster by the pound, snow crab by the pound, oysters, everything like that. Fried seafood flatter, fried shrimp and clam. It's good. Uh, again, I'm not a huge seafood fan. So I'm not a gigantic seafood fan, so not, not for me. Now, they even have, on the school deck, they have a Mexican restaurant that they make tortillas in fresh. They have a tortilla making machine. They're making the tortillas for the tacos fresh. It's called the Blue Iguana Cantina. I like to call it Carnival's knockoff on Chipotle. So, uh, you know, I'm a betting man. I like to bet. I'm willing to bet you that in the next like five years, this is going to be called uh, George Lopez's Cantina. Because Carnival loves branding. We got Guy Fieri, we got Shaq, we got Emerald Lagasse. George, George, George Lopez needs to have the taco place. And not only do they have tacos, you can dress them yourself, and they are open for breakfast as well. So they have arepas for breakfast, and they're open for breakfast as well, which is really, really, really cool. Uh, I, I haven't even made, look, I'll be honest with you. I haven't made it to the main dining room and I haven't made it here this cruise because there's so many other options of where to eat that you don't have to go to all these other places. Now, I can only handle so much time outside. So we're gonna go inside for a minute, probably have a drink. Just of note, as we're going inside, I want you to see just how massive the corridors on this ship are. There are 6,500 people on board. It doesn't feel like there's 6,500 people on board at all. There's a couple times where things will feel a little bit crowded. Uh, we'll take, for example, some of the shows downstairs, which we're going to go take a look at uh, a little bit later. But what we're doing, we're taking in some air conditioning real quick, and then we're going to go up. So we're on 16, we're going to go 17, we're going to go 18, and hopefully, hopefully we're going to see a roller coaster that on this day last cruise, I wasn't on board, but... I watch what goes on. On this day, last cruise, someone got stuck on the roller coaster for five hours. My fat ass is not getting stuck on a roller coaster for five hours. So um, my fat ass is not going to ride the roller coaster because uh, it was down the first like four days of this cruise and they got it. Um, they got luggage tags here for some reason. Just carry your damn luggage off the ship. There's no need for luggage tags. So yeah, we ducked inside and what we're doing is we're now going one deck above the pool deck. Problem is, I haven't had a nice place to have a drink in a little bit. Is that gonna work? No, it's too loose. That's what she said. Um, I said that. <laughs> no, it's too loose. That's what she said. Okay, let's let's pop this. Woo! 
What'd you say? Yeah, it's a good camera. It's basically a drone, but no, it's only oh. pointing to me. Oh, it's a camera? Yeah, it's a camera. Wow, that's cool. Hi. Hey, oh. Where do you work? In the Serenity? Good. I'm working in Serenity this time. Yeah. I'm going to be there in a minute. Oh. And the cool thing is, this is not a glass, so I can bring it on deck and drink yeah. right out of it. It will last on how many hours? I mean, talking about how, how to keep it cold or how long in my body? In, 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 that, in, in, that, that's about 45 minutes of drinking. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool, though. Yeah. So he's working in Serenity, which is one deck up, which is the adults only area, which, you know, if you don't want to do, and the cool thing is the adults only area, Serenity deck, that's included. It's not an upcharge. On a lot of other ships, they might have a, uh, not shit, a lot of other companies, they'll sell access to certain places, um, and you have to have a pass for it. You know, you're, you're paying for the cruise, you're paying for the cruise, then you gotta pay again to access the section of the cruise. There is on this ship really nothing that's in the ship within a ship concept. Uh, MSC, which I'm going to be going on very, very soon. Um, um, oh, we got like cabins here. I didn't know that. It should end, oh, got an engine room. This is no good, this deck 17. Uh, all the areas on this ship are accessible to everyone. MSC has like the Yacht Club, uh, Norwegian has the Haven, which are entire sections of the ship that are cut off from the gen pop, the general population. You gotta pay more, your ticket's not good enough for that. There's really, there's one little area on Carnival that's like that. Uh, we can't go to it, because I'm standing inside cabin, but there's not a separate restaurant and things like that. If that's your thing, then that's your thing. I'm going on MSC Yacht Club in December. So, you know, if that's your thing, that's your thing. If you want a private area ship within a ship, I like this and I can quantify it. Everyone has access to like 98% of the ship. Uh, there's a small 2% that you don't. So we're now up at the adult deck. I thought 17 cut through, so we're on 18 now. And we're up at the adult deck, the pool deck. And what you got here is you got, you actually have to check out towels. It's just kind of weird. You have to check out towels, you have to bring them in. And that's mainly, mainly because of the customer that Carnival had. I think it's gonna change, you know? They're kleptomaniacs, people, people steal. Sorry, and that's, that's why they do it. But you'll notice we're in a quieter area of the ship right now. So I'm gonna be quieter, because we're a quieter area of the ship. This is the adults only area. You won't find any kids here. They've got a pool. They've got hot tubs. They've got everything. And here's the important thing. This is open to everyone. So they've got a pool. They've got a seating area. That pool was about the size of the main pool on Virgin Voyages. I think that's the fourth pool we've seen so far. And there's a lot more to see. They've got a bar. And they don't just have a normal bar. If you remember a few minutes ago, I said I'm a... Uh, intolerant to something they've got a salad bar and i will say this salad bar is back to self-service on the horizon a few weeks ago the crew were still serving you but uh here at least on the celebration fresh creations is back to self-service now you'll see woo! you'll see right above there that's the two percent oh no no, no, no. Each one of these is five, and you can fill it up 15 times. So what's that? 15 times, uh, I don't even know. One in five, 15. I'm going for above 15 this time. It's coming. I have fans. They're literally yelling about the drink package across the, uh, across the pool. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. You know why? Because they're my people. But the ship is very cool. Quiet. Uh, like I said, there's an area right up there. That is the sweet deck. It's just a separate sun deck. There's nothing more or less up there, realistically. You can buy a cabana up there for a lot of money per cruise, uh, and you, you get access. But, I mean, the hardest thing to do nowadays on many new cruise ships is get to the front of the boat. Yeah, nobody really gives a shit in the Caribbean, to be honest with you. Oh, we're 34 minutes and we can curse. Uh, nobody really gives a shit in the Caribbean to get the fun of shit, but if you're in cooler places, like, not ooh, cooler, like, functionally cooler, 
that it's really cool to see uh, San Juan. We went to San Juan this cruise. This is a cool place to watch the sail in San Juan. And it's really hard for people to get for free to the front of any cruise ship anymore. Why? I don't know. They just made it hard. They made it so it's an exclusive area. You have to book a certain cabin or something. Uh, Virgin Voyages, for example, you cannot see off the front of the ship unless you are a sweet guest. It's impossible. They've blocked off the entire front of the ship for sweet guests. Here, you want to look at the front of the ship? Look at this. Their sunbed's open. It's, it's, it's the middle of the day on a sea day. People are generally fighting for sunbeds to come out and tan. But here, no problem. Best cruise ship in the world. Oh. Best cruise ship. Oh, hold on. I'll give, you, I'll give you a little look inside. Oh. Can you see? Can you see? Oh, there's some beer. You know where that beer needs to go? I'm going to do my best to... Uh, what bastard impression? Okay. Um, I was going to say, get in my belly. But in reality, it just went up my nosey. It's a good beer. It's a really good beer. I'm about halfway done with this growler. So another, what are we, like three and a half drinks in. When we finish the growler, we'll blow. We're going to have to get the growler refilled. But we might not get it refilled with beer. I promise you. The backpack is here for a reason. But so, this is the adults only area. It's so nice and quiet. I almost don't want to talk. But you know, all you know, you have companies like Virgin, they're like, sale kids free. Look, you, we are uh, 38 minutes into this tour. It's uncut. No, 36, sorry. The sun. Uh, I haven't seen any kids. And if I see kids, I use the magic troll bracelet. You see the magic troll bracelet? What you do is you, you see a kid, you take off the magic troll bracelet, and you say it's like a hidden duck, and the kids run the other way. I might use it. Yeah, that, that's, that's what this is for if you've seen it. It's to get the kids away. You just throw it, you say, kids, go get it. And it's like a dog. And you just hope they never come back. Because they're not your kids. Just remember, at the end of the day, you got kids that are misbehaving, at least they're only with you for seven days. You don't have to live with them. Unfortunately, it's only faced this way, but you know, here. No. Oh, yeah, no worries. So they even have, you know, hot tubs here and everything. Now, we are leaving the Serenity area. And what you're going to notice is they're, they're, they're literally doing sexy leg comp. Mr. Sexy, Legend of Lido. So, yeah, here, this is a uh, Loft 19. This is the only restricted area of the shift. This is the 2% of the shift that's restricted. Wristband required for entry. Children must be accompanied. There's, there, I've been up there. There's not much up there. They let me up to look. They said, don't take a video because there'll be evidence. We let a non-sweet, non-Loft 19 member up there. There's not much there. Look up, look at Loft 19 if you want to. But we're out on this pool deck. We're leaving Serenity, but I want to talk about something kind of interesting as we're uh, leaving. This is the only problem left on the Carnival Celebration, believe it or not. Right here. See that stanchion? The stairs keep breaking. Now, I don't know if it's because the stairs are built poorly or their passengers are too fat. Hey, I'm, I'm a fat guy, I can say that. But, um, or why not both? Um, but the stairs keep breaking. I don't know if that's a problem on Mardi Gras. I don't know if that's going to be a problem on Jubilee. The cool news is in the next year, I've got both booked, so I can answer that. But what we're doing is we're leaving the adult area now, and we're headed towards the normal pool area. But I want to point this out, because this is really cool. You see, this is the Carnival Celebration. It's kind of taking a name from an old carnival ship that had the same name. And you'll see those funnels? as the funnel design that Carnival, Carnival oh God, Carnival <laughs> originally had. And on the back of the ship, they got the whale tail. Now again, we, we left the adult only area. This, this ship really truly does have something for everybody because we left the, oh God, we left the adult area and now there's literally a sexy man competition going on at the pool. And I love, look at that. They have another. 
they have it on the screen. It's all like, Friends. it's so well done. This might like, be it's the so, and look, most talented Again, look, look at all the available chairs. In Legend Look at this. Great job. Look at all but the available judges, chairs. You leave that alone. I see what you're about Holy to do. Holy shit. That alone. It's like 2 o'clock. It's 2 or 3. 2 or 3 on a, on a sea day, and there's empty chairs on the pool deck. On a full ship. What the actual fuck? I'm not a guy that likes outside. I love inside. I like air conditioning. I'm fat. We know this. I'm fat. I'm heavy breathing when I'm doing this. It's fine. I live a good life, not a long one. But you'll see. Uh, oh, they're, they're finding a winner right now. It's we'll just so well done. Room. And look, you oh, look, there's still more Two chairs. Five. I don't care if you're chair so hog. Look how many yeah. chairs there are. Who Middle we'll of the day the on a beautiful sea window. day. Everyone's biggest complaint about cruise ships is that people are doing Hey, look, more, more of those more of those stairs that, that fat the overroads. Literally, this is the only problem on this ship. And it's only a problem because I know about it. Look, you can see they repaired that step but when they repair the steps they have to wait a couple days for them to dry so they put the stanchions there to wait for the glue to dry but i mean i can get a chair any time of the day out on any deck of the pool deck which is kind of cool now we're on 17 now which is a second layer of the tiki bar there's actually two layers of the bar it's my favorite bar on board that makes cocktails on board any carnival ship I have the shirt I for uh, for the employees there because I love it that much. Decided to wear my five o'clock is anywhere um, five o'clock somewhere shirt instead. But yeah, you've got look at the, the, the detail here, the detail here. I love tiki bars. They did such a good job. It's like ridiculous how good of a job they did here. I'm just I'm just gonna have a seat here real quick. I'm just gonna have a seat here and have some beer. Woo! Let's have some beer. Uh, uh. Woo. Outside it's hot. Woo! 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 Who let the dog? Okay, I'm, I'm getting away from that copywritten music because I'm glad he stopped it real quick. But next thing, we, you know what we didn't talk about yet? I said it was coming later, trust me. We're gonna talk about pizza too, but that's later, later. We didn't talk about burgers. And who's better to do burgers than anything else? I love this guy for reasons I don't wanna talk about in the video. Um, one of my businesses was uh, got a boost from being on the diners, drive-ins and dives and I love Guy Fieri. I can't, I can't say a bad word about the guy. But Guy had a barbecue place downstairs, which is where we started. And now we're upstairs at Guy's Burger Place. And the Guy's Burger Place is really friggin' good. Best burgers at sea. Used to think they were celebrity. These are the best burgers you see. And also included. The only thing so far food-wise that we've seen that's not included and they have the line on the first day. Do not come to Guy's Burgers right when you get on board the ship. They're open till six o'clock every day. I'm from like noon to six every day. Uh, after sail away, there's no one here. Uh, they have a toppings bar that's got like everything. It's it's insane just how good this ship is. I'm dead like it, that. It's that good. Um, but we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna move from Guy's Burgers, which is right here, to. The casino that we can film in. Hey, Rich, what do you mean by the casino we can film in? Also, wait. Oh, um, Carnival has a casino that they don't like you filming in. I filmed in it the other day. Oh, I'm starting to feel, I'm starting to feel the ship not moving anymore, which means I drank too much. Cheers to that. It's really hard to hold this camera. The good news is this growler gets a lot easier to hold one-handed as it gets empty because it goes from growler to belly. But um, I did shoot a whole video in the casino the other day. We're not going to go in the casino today because uh, it is open. But I want to talk about the children's casino. You might say, children's casino? This is the casino 
for people under 18 years old. And like I was saying, you're not generally gonna see kids on board unless you go searching for them. And I don't go searching for kids. I do not need on that Dateline NBC to catch a predator shit up in my life. So I'm not going searching for kids, but I'm gonna go searching for an arcade. Uh, this is the Warehouse Arcade. And what this is designed as, is this is designed to get kids hooked on gambling before they could go to the actual casino. Not a joke. You might say, why? Look at these claw machines. They got Playstations, iPhones, Nintendo Switches, Zoom Noom Nooms, Squishmallows, whatever they want to call them. Tickets are just money, but look how big, look how just gigantic this arcade is. It's pretty crazy how gigantic this arcade is. Hey, look, this, this is teaching them how they're going to get robbed when they play certain games in the casino. This is a three-card Monty. It's, it, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that. Teach the kids they're going to lose to begin with. You know, might, might as well teach them young. You know, nobody gets a free cruise in the casino. I mean, technically, I did this cruise because I had a pretty big jackpot that offset any losses I could have for, like, the next year of gambling on carnival but uh, <laughs> teach the kids early oh oh god you know what i like best right now this air conditioning after being out on that hot pool deck thank god for the, the air conditioning okay i do have security kind of posted in here but security is not going to say i can't record this isn't a casino or anything it, it, it's a casino. They even have giant dice. Teach, teach people, teach the little kids how to play craps young. Whoop! What'd I get? I got a four! Just just not a seven! I got a four! I mean, the dice was on its side, so I just added up the two sides I saw. But they have just an insane amount of things here um, that are just crazy. Uh, and there was a game. Oh, this one's still broken. Yeah. Well, actually. Is this game working? There was a game that I played on my last ship tour, and I actually really loved this game. So I'm going to play it again. This is the game where you can, like, break plates. I'm just going to play once. Tap to play. Oh, I got to go. Tap to play. Select price level, one credit. Okay, I don't know why my card keeps getting declined here. Uh, I can play in the real casino, but it never lets me play in the arcade. Maybe it just knows I'm a big kid. But I mean, this is, look, look. You gotta see how young you gotta start them. You want the kids gambling real young? Let them play for the teddy bear, right? You got the teenagers? Screw the teddy bear. Let them play for the PlayStation. This is run by the casino. There's literally a slot tech coming to fix the machine. This is the children's casino. This is to ingrain into children that you can spend money to potentially win prizes. And it goes up, because guess what? That's actually funny. This is funny as shit. You know, they, you saw that there was a uh, PlayStation there, and there's a PlayStation here. You know one of the prizes you can win on an Ultra Cruise is? From the casino? That same fucking PlayStation. But unfortunately, my time in the air condition is short-lived. We must go back outside. And not only must we go back outside, we must go up. We've done deck, uh, wait, I'm trying to count. I'm trying to count, hold on. We've done deck, back a deck eight, we're probably gonna go back there. Uh, we've done deck, oh my god, yeah, deck 16, deck 17, this is back, this is deck 17, this is what, look, if you don't, if you don't want to see kids, stay the hell away from deck 17, stay the hell away from deck 18, you won't see kids, it feels like a virgin ship, uh, plus again, remember, just, just get, 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 get your magic troll bracelet, and if you got a kid, you see one, you just take off the troll bracelet, let me show you. You take off the troll bracelet, you make it big, you make it look like something better, and you slap the kid with it. And trust me, the kid's okay getting slapped because they're getting a troll bracelet. 
Yes, from the Trolls World Tour. It depends how young the kid is, whether they'll, they'll understand that or not. But we're going up. We've done 16, 17. Lido deck, my favorite. Uh, and now we're going to go to a very, you know, I'm going to say, we're going to go to a very Royal Caribbean or Norwegian part of this ship, uh, which is the weird shit they like to do on the top of the ship. What do I mean by that? You know, Royal Caribbean has the, um, has the skydiving done that before, has the flow rider. Norwegian has the um, go-karts. And Carnival on their class of ship before this had these little pedal bikes that went around and you'd, you'd pedal around the top of the ship. You'd go down a little bit, you'd go up a little bit, but there were these little bikes that you would pedal around. And I think someone got really drunk or high one day in the Carnival office and said, let's put a roller coaster on a cruise ship. Well, it's just an evolution on the pedal bikes. Now, from a technical level, I'm gonna get technical. I don't believe that this is a roller coaster. Why? Well, it's, it's, it's a powered coaster. It doesn't really use gravity for anything. It, you're using power to move it around. I'm just hoping someone's riding it right now so we can get you on video. But there's like, I think it's about a thousand foot of roller coaster track right up here on deck 18. Now, unlike Norwegian's newest ship. Oh, well, look there, the roller coaster. Look at that. There we go. And you get two rounds on it for like 50. Oh, look, second car's going. Only on a powered coaster can you have two cars on the track at the same time uh, in a thousand feet of track. Huh, there she goes again. And then right after her, my test car is going to go. But I was talking about Norwegian. Their newest ship has a mini golf course on it. Huh? That's a pretty cool mini golf course. But it's like Putt Shack. And you have to pay to play mini golf. What the actual fuck? You have to pay to play mini golf on a Norwegian cruise ship. Uh, it's part of the reason I generally won't go on Norwegian. I might do it my could probably get a casino comp there to go on Norwegian once just to give you guys a review of that ship but this is still the best cruise ship in the world I'm sorry uh, but the mini golf is free my dad usually plays golf on Saturday he came up here today it's his first time on a carnival ship he came up here today he played a nice round of mini golf instead of actual golf let's talk about Royal Caribbean again now they just announced carnival just announced celebration key uh, but Royal Caribbean has this thing celebrity has this thing called perfect day at Coco Cay it's a water park with all kinds of stuff. Uh, and they've got that. And Carnival has put it on their damn cruise ship. This is just like perfect day at Coco Cay, but it's actually on a ship up. It is uh, that water. It's about to just like decimate everyone. I really kind of want to get under it, but I'm not going to. This is free. They have one, two, three, four, like six slides. They've got this big bucket of water that's going to dump on people. Yeah, if you come up to deck 18, you're going to see kids. But this is a free water park. Just think about that for a second. Royal Caribbean is going to charge you $100, $200. Actually, this is not even a joke. It's a couple hundred dollars, like $150 a person to go to Royal Caribbean's water park in Coco Cay. Carnival said, fuck you, Royal. We're going to put it on our ship. And there we go. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. That's my favorite. If I don't have fancy camera gear, that's my uh, actual like favorite thing. Um, but uh, this is where you would enter for the roller coaster. Uh, they, they even have a fat shaming scale. Now, you'll see what I have in my backpack later, which uh, weighs about 25, 30 pounds. But uh, if you get on there, it's green until, until it gets red. Oh, it doesn't like me. It doesn't like me uh, because there's a weight limit on there. And I'm under it, but I'm not going on that shit after it broke down and someone got stuck on it for five hours. Like, if you're going to, look, if you're going to break it down, whoo, there's some beer again. If you're going to break down and stop for five hours, you better bring me beer, bring me hot dogs, bring me all that. We're trying to get me out.
Uh, that's a good beer. It's a really good beer. All right. So, let us continue on with our journey. And, uh, oh, let's talk about they have a sports court, they got a ropes course, and they even have right up here the iconic whale tail, which is newer to Carnival. We kind of talked about the old funnels design that was on the original Mardi Gras celebration, and they have the whale tail. They have both. They have a ropes course right up here. There's a ropes course that if you want to jump out over the side of the ship, you do you, my friend. You do you. That's not something I'm gonna do. You'll notice. You'll notice. I ain't trying to be racist, but I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually being racist against my own people right now. That up there, that up there, is some white people shit. Okay. White people are smarter than to walk off the side of the ship on a ropes course. You my people. You know. You like barbecue. You like liquor. We are the same. Uh, but I mean, I, I have never seen a black person on a carnival ropes course. That is, that is some, that is, that is, that's some white people shit. Uh, and you got a whole sports stack. You got everything like that. Uh, but what we're going to do is, I think it's time. I really do think it's time for us to get some air conditioning. So, again, I, I'm bringing this, I, I don't need to pee. Uh, which means either I'm sweating a lot or something, um, but uh, I don't need to pee. So we're gonna continue the tour. Oh, we got the, the man who won the Lido. Or, I'm not sure what's going on right there. Yep, yeah, that's the winner, Mr. Lido. So uh, we're gonna start heading down into the inside of the ship. Now what you've got is you got these decks. 16, 17, 18 are public areas. Deck eight, seven, and six are public areas. So eight, seven, six, public areas. Uh, four, uh, 16, 17, 18 are public areas. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go down to deck eight. Well, we're gonna ride down to deck eight, uh, which we were already on. That's where we started and we got the beer. But we're gonna ride down to deck eight and we're gonna do a tour of deck eight, deck seven, and deck eight. Six. So uh, elevators here run pretty okay for cruise ship elevators. My recommendation is, you know, if you're at or near the top, you know, you just want to go up and down. Just get in whatever is available. That's, uh, that's the way I like to do elevators on cruise ships. But we finished the Lido deck. Again, you saw that Lido deck. I made a claim. I said best Lido deck. And I have proven that claim. Uh, you cannot fight that. Facts are facts. There is no better Lido deck than the Lido deck on the Carnival XL class of ships. Stands for, I thought it stood, I thought like someone came up with it in Microsoft Excel. Then I got drunk one day and figured they mean extra large. Uh, so what I can do, I'm on deck 17 right now. The, uh, the skeeviest thing to do here will be walk down to deck 16, take the elevator up one deck, and get into it. Or deck 15. Take it down. These elevators are taking a lot longer. I'm looking forward to MSC. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just talking right now. I'm filling time. Oh, hold on. I, 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 what up? You the no pants guy? I am the no pants guy. And I am oh. drinking my. Uh, are aren't you, you the no pants you, guy? Are you, are you, are you, come on. He goes, Aren't you the no pants guy? He can't say hello because he's, 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 he's double. Yes, I'm doing, doing, doing more than 15. I'm again. doing more than 15. I watched, I watched a couple of the last ones. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my god, I ain't doing it. You see this? Nah, Five sweet. drinks counts as one drink. Oh, so I'm doing so the. There is no limit. Well, nah, beer? This is beer. I got two bottles of wine. In, oh crap, I spoiled the surprise for all you on the internet. Uh, I got two <laughs> bottles of wine <laughs> hidden in my bag that you're going to watch me drunkenly open with a corkscrew in a little bit, uh, which is a bad idea. Might just ask the bartender to do it. What? They can take a wait. If you too much, they can take a wait. For the night. For the night, right? Yeah. Then they had to open back up the next morning. Yeah, it opens at 6 a.m. the next day. So what number are you on right now? I mean, I had one beer before, and I've got one beer there, so this is like number five. 
to be realistic. Oh, I just opened my bag. So, what? No, I'm good. I, I don't think it will. It's got two bottles of wine in it. Can you slide in? Is it eight push there? Oh, yeah. oh, I'll come in that one. So we're riding in an elevator. I'm, I'm going to tell my elevator joke to everyone and the video at the same time. Elevator says it fits 17 people, right? <laughs> you laughing, right? Yeah. You laughing. Six, seven, eight. You want you want to be real sad? <laughs> lifeboat says it fits 150. Oh man. If the life if the ship goes down, you know what I'm doing? Mm. I'm identifying as both a women and a children. <laughs> <laughs> Cuz I've been told you can do yeah, that these well, days. I got to get off the team. Yeah. 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 Oh. Sorry. Of course I would be all the way in the back. Yeah, oh sorry. You know what? I'm going to do it down to. <laughs> I'm identifying as a women and a children cuz there ain't no way in hell. That my fat ass is fitting in a lifeboat that says it fits 150 people when the elevator says <laughs> says it takes 17. I'm just doing math there. We're going down two decks because that elevator was fun. I like to give that fact and then walk away. You, you ever seen uh, Evil Skeletor? I, I'm like Evil Skeletor. I give useless information that makes people feel bad and then I walk the fuck away. Uh, if you're watching this video, you're like, I both love and hate this guy at the same time. Because I just, I, I am a real life troll. Like, a real life troll. Where the hell are we? Oh, we're on deck eight. So we're to the back of deck eight. Guess what? I'm just, I'm just leaving my beer open now. I am just leaving my beer open now. Um, we're in the back of deck eight. Let's go to the front of deck eight. Then we're going to go back to the back of deck eight. Because... Very, very sadly, this beer is, uh, is emptying out. Yeah, guys, don't binge drink like me. Hey, look, you want to see the saddest thing in the world? Do you want to see the saddest thing in the world? Let me show you the saddest thing in the world. This guy, he's very sad. Do you know why this guy is very sad? San Sandeep, why are you very sad? Are you sad? I'm sad. <laughs> Sandeep is sad because Sandeep runs the watch store. I don't run All the, the watch store. Oh, well, that's the watch store, right? Yeah. Th that's why Sandeep's not sad, because he doesn't run the watch store. <laughs> this watch right here, the Apple Watch, has murdered this entire industry. No one wants to talk about that fact. All fancy watches, when people buy a fancy watch, this is a great side note. When people buy a fancy watch, they're buying a fancy watch to look rich. Rich people wear a $300 Apple Watch. The Apple Watch has actually destroyed the fine watch industry. They will bullshit you and say that it's not, but the saddest job on the ship has to be selling watches. Because guess what? I can afford a Rolex, especially with that casino win I had, but I'm not gonna fucking buy a Rolex if I can't see who's calling me on it. You know, I wanna see on the, on the, on the screen of the Rolex. Oh wait, the Rolex doesn't have screens. You know, uh, who tried that? Uh, tag, uh, Tag Heuer. Tried a digital, uh, digital watch. Hey, look, if we're looking for another, another problem with the ship, again, I don't really have a problem, uh, but if we're looking for another problem, look, one of these glass panels is broken. Why? Well, probably, probably because some dumbass who lit the red light on the roller coaster went jumping on that glass panel. You know, but what we're doing, we're working our way towards the front of deck eight, then we're going to the back. I got like a beer or so in here right now. We might have to hook up a battery to this camera because I'm going long, but uh, this is the Havana Lounge. So Carnival, we're, we're on the front of deck eight, and this is the Havana Lounge and the Havana Bar. Um, this is, part of this is part of that little 2% I told you, but there's, there's nothing real special here. Anybody can come into here, uh, except on embarkation day, they do weddings here for some reason. Uh, but this is the Havana Bar. And they do trivias and different things like that in the Havana bar at night. This is like a poppin' Cuban oh, nightclub night every, every single go. night in here. Whoa! Captain, what's your name? Uh, no pants. Captain, no pants. Give it up again, Captain, no pants. Also yes. known as Captain Speedos. Yes. I just gotta shout out on the microphone. Let's get him a drink right now. Oh no, no, it's in here. All right, he's got a drink. What's in there? What? Five beers. Five beers. And it only counts as one drink on the drink package. It only counts as one beer. 
That's impressive. That's the trick. That's how you do more than 15. All right, Captain, yeah. thanks for joining us, man. There's five That's beers. Fun. Five beers in one flask. That's how it's done. Five beers in one flask only counts as one drink on a drink package. Yes. I'm doing a ship tour. I'm doing a ship tour. Have a good one. All right. So, yeah. So there's a, that's the Havana bar. There is a small section of the ship, again, that is only for people who booked Havana suites. That is a class of suite on the ship that gets you access to your own little pool area and stuff like that. There's nothing magical there. There's nothing you're gonna miss out on. If you wanna book it, book it. Cool thing is uh, they have balconies that people can walk around. There was a story I was reading like two weeks ago that someone had a naked man come into the room from the balcony. How are you? Uh, someone had a naked man come into the room from the balcony because the balconies don't lock and people can walk by them. So for some reason, there was a naked man standing in the middle of someone's cabin on the Havana deck, of, on the Havana section of this ship. Carnival doesn't want you to know that. I think it's hysterical. So I'm gonna tell you anyway. Uh, maybe I'll put the link in the comments if I can find it. Uh, but here's another restaurant. This is on deck eight forward. Generally, you don't see food in the front of the ship because it's fun in the front, food in the back. That's the secret to cruise ships. But Carnival has really done a fantastic job with included dining options. As you saw up on the Lido deck, hey, we had an including di included dining option up on the Lido deck, which was, God, how many friggin' options did we see? But they have other included dining options. Uh, and this is called Shebang. It is included once per cruise um, for anyone. You don't have any class, anything like that. You know, you don't know, have any classes. You don't have to have any, you can be in an inside cabin on the bottom of the ship. Hey, that's where I am. Because the casino gave me the most onboard credit for taking that cabin. So, hell yeah. This is Chebang. It's Chinese-Mexican fusion, but they're kind of separate. Uh, it's delicious. We went there, we went there for dinner last night. Uh, I will tell you the pork belly is good. It's, but this is considered main dining. You just go on the app, you book it, and this is a, this is a crowd favorite. Uh, there's some really good desserts. It's main dining. It's included. Uh, it's a specialty restaurant that's included. <coughs> Virgin Voyages. Uh, you know, it's a specialty restaurant that's included. We've got more of those coming up, too. But it's really kind of cool that they've, uh, they've really thought it through. And they've done that, which is, like, insanely cool. All right, so let us, uh, let's have some more drink while we're going. Mm. So the last time I was on board, my biggest criticism is that, oh, I can't say criticism. My biggest criticism of the ship was this area we're about to talk about. It's called Celebration Central. Uh, I don't know what it's called on Mardi Gras. Maybe it's called Mardi Gras Central. Uh, who the hell knows? I haven't been on Mardi Gras yet. But here's the kind of interesting thing. This is a theater. It's a theater that spans three decks. And if you don't get here hours before the show, you're not getting a seat. That was my criticism last time. Criticism? Gone. Why? Because this circus show that they're doing right here, this is the fifth time they're doing this show, this cruise. So guess what? Everyone's seen it already. If you haven't seen it, or you're watching this, uh, I have a whole video of the circus show that you can watch. It's got so many copyrighted music and stuff in there. It's not monetizable. I can't make a dime on it, but I shot it for you so you can kind of see. Uh, they're doing shows here and in the theater that are kind of interestingly enough, not typical carnival shows, but even more, they're actually typical celebrity shows, celebrity cruises shows. They're Cirque, they're unique, there's Iralist, there's, it's kind of edgy. It, it really, they are using this venue and their main theater, which we'll get to later, not for the customers they have, but for the customers they want. And uh, full disclosure, this is the best of the world. I'm a Carnival shareholder. I fucking love Carnival. Now, I don't worry about the price now. They are the industry leader by far, but I think they're about to take this class of ships. The more of these they build, it's going to take the industry by a fucking storm. 
it's glorious. We're not even done yet. Um, so let's uh, let's continue. But they also have the uh, the bingo cult happens here. What's the bingo cult? The bingo cult is everybody yells the numbers. They get excited. It literally looks like a cult meeting. I don't play bingo because they don't pay out anywhere near what they take in. So I just don't play bingo. Plus, they do win a free cruise bingo. I'm not going to lie. I haven't paid for a cruise in two years. Well, not directly, you know. You pay in the casino. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This is a green cruise. I'm happy, but regardless, I was going to make this best cruise in the video. Be wait, best cruise in the world video, regardless if I won or not. Uh, you know, I made a very positive video when I didn't win last time I was on in April, but they fixed because they're doing these shows more than ever. So yeah, don't come to the first or the second showing of the show, but understand they're going to show this show multiple times over the cruise. Come to the later showing, walk up, get a seat, no problem. Now, every food venue other than seafood that we've been to so far, the Seafood Shack, which had prices, was included. I uh, was, uh, yeah, included in your cruise fare. Now, I want to talk about one that's not, but one that, in my opinion, is the best specialty dining that you book on board that's got all of your stuff included. Now, the best specialty dining on board is Emeralds. We will get to that later, I promise you. But the best specialty dining on board that you kind of book... Uh, you know, as an all-inclusive, is Bonsai Teppanyaki. I love, 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 love Bonsai Teppanyaki. Here's the secret to Bonsai Teppanyaki. These people all know the secret. You're going, what's the secret? The secret is, oh, he got, just set something on fire. More fire, more fire, more fire, more fire. Well, hopefully, I think you can see the fire. Look at that, look at that timing. He's making more fire. He can't even see that I'm re recording, and he's making more fire. My God, this is called timing. Bonsai Teppanyaki? is five dollars cheaper or five dollars depends if you book early or late uh i mean if you book before your cruise or after it's cheaper for lunch than it is for dinner and it's the same exact menu so kind of cool right there um they also have sushi which is a la carte right next door this sushi compares to so I, I don't like sushi, but I took someone who likes sushi. Compares to any good premium cruise line cruise ship sushi. I've been on Celebrity. I've had their, uh, and I like the cooked stuff. Um, but I, I trust, I, I, I'm, look, I'm not a white girl. I don't like sushi. White girls like sushi, but um, I'm not a white girl. So I don't like sushi. Um, <laughs> where was I going here? Uh, oh, that's where I was going. I was going to drink more because I got to get this refilled in a couple minutes. Mm. Ah. You can tell the beer's hitting. Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, I can eat sushi. I'm not a white girl. Other basic white girl things. Oh, valley girl, so great, hey. Sorry, continuing. All right, another great thing about Carnival, your photo gallery. I love the photo gallery. You can get uh, get a good deal and you get a package. A lot of my thumbnails I use actually come from the photo gallery. It's busy, it's the last day on board, but it's all done digitally. They don't really print anything unless you request it. Uh, and you do get your free gift here if you are a gold member. Come pick it up before the last two days of the cruise. Uh, they've got headphones, they've got different stuff in the shop here. This one's actually owned by Carnival. Um, which is kind of cool. All right, it's a photo gallery. Ta-da! All done digitally. Ta-da! Digitally. Ta-da! But uh, let's go ahead. Oof! And let's move on because you're going. Hey, we were up by that pool deck. Where the fuck was the pizza? Like seriously, where the fuck was the pizza? We're gonna get there. So we're at 820 Biscayne, which on this ship is themed to Miami. On uh, on this Mardi Gras, sorry, the brain is starting to move slower after this gets really emptier. On Mardi Gras, I don't know what it's themed to. It's themed differently, supposedly. And on Jubilee, it'll be themed differently. But the cool thing is, I'm going on Jubilee uh, inaugural-ish time, like the third week that it's out. So we'll see it. This one is themed to Miami. So 820 Biscayne themed to Miami. It's got bar 820, which has both an indoor and outdoor bar. Cucina del Capitano, which is another included restaurant. We'll talk about that first. Miami Slice, the pizza place. Deco Deli, which is the Carnival Deli. And Rudy Segro. We'll talk about all those. But yes, they even have a stupid, giant 
giant stupid postcard you can pose in front of. But this is Cucina del Capitano. This is their Italian restaurant. And most importantly, I want to let you know, it's included in your cruise fare. Look, Carnival's known as the, oh God, I gotta put my beer over there to the hand gestures, the cheap cruise line. Well shit, there's a lot included for the cheap cruise line. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When you go to the main dining room, they will try and sell you shots while you're drinking. When you go to the main dining room, they will dance on the table. You know what? I used to hate that. You know, I used to hate that. I really did. When I started sailing Carnival two years ago, I used to hate that. Now, after I've been on MSC, for your birthday at MSC, they literally bang silverware and plates together in order to sing you happy birthday. So, don't call Carnival trashy. I'm just saying, don't call Carnival trashy. Um, but Cucina del Capitano, Italian, included. Open for lunch on the sea days, open for dinner every single day. This is main dining on Carnival. Technically speaking, this is main dining. And it's phenomenal. Now, I've not been here this cruise yet, um, but I've been here on cruises before. I was here for lunch yesterday, but I've not been here for dinner yet. Uh, I will tell you, the chicken parmesan is delicious, and it's also friggin' massive. The meatballs are delicious. The minestrone is amazing. The arancini's really good. And it's all included, and you're going, wait, 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 wait. You've got an Asian restaurant, a Mexican restaurant. Oh, holy shit. Now I can put my hands down for a minute. You got an Asian restaurant, a Mexican restaurant, an Italian restaurant, a barbecue restaurant, all included? Are you sure this ain't Virgin Voyages? No, you know why? Because it's a third of the fucking cost. It's a third of the fucking cost. All this is included, and you can get a drink package. Yeah, it's better than any other fucking cruise line. If you go, you, you look, you've been with me for... 76 minutes and you know I'm drinking so I'm gonna tell you the truth we're gonna do a breathalyzer because I'm gonna finish this beer um you know I'm drinking so I have, I have no ability to lie to you while drunk as much as I want to uh Virgin has had a nice first 10 chapters of their life there's a chapter coming after that you know what comes after chapter 10 right I'm not gonna say it for legal reasons but the first 10 chapters of their life were nice they're going towards the number after that. Again, I'm not going to say it, but chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then there's 12 after, but there's something in the middle. Google that. Google chapter. Don't, don't Google chapter between 10 and 12. Just Google chapter and then the number that's between 10 and 12. Because that's what Virgin Voyages is about to file. Oh, I said file. Yeah, that, that works. That works. Legally. I don't want to blur that out. Okay, so... You have all of these different included restaurants that are included here for a third of the price you're going to pay on Virgin. Plus, you can get a drink package here. Uh, plus, if you're smart. Oh, yeah. I can play music. Yeah. This is the best ship in the world. I. I, I you're watching this, and in the beginning, you're like, this fat guy's not going to convince me to cruise Carnival. You know what? This fat drunk guy probably already has, but I've got even more to go. So, uh, oh wait, hold on. I'm literally on a hand sanitizing dispenser right now that's actually holding the weight of my camera. Uh, we have breathalyzer number two. Let's see how this is going to go. Searching. Oh, God. That's in phone mode. I got to, like, switch it from phone mode. Don't worry. App mode. No, I don't want app mode. I don't want app mode. Hold up. Okay. We're going to have to take out breathalyzer number one, which you guys know if you watch this video is very um, not reliable at doing things. But let's let it warm up. So why I bring two, four, three, two, one.
Now, technically, you're not supposed to have a drink for 10 minutes when you do this, but fuck, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Don't care. Okay. Point oh five. Hey, look, those of you that have watched my video before, it's like, his left eye's not closed yet. He's not gone. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Technically, I can still drive the boat. I mean, I'm below a point oh eight. I can technically still drive the boat. But let's, let's continue on. I, I don't even know if I finished my last thought, my last statement. But yeah, this is the best cruise ship in the world. Virgin bought all their fucking awards. They literally bought them. You can buy awards anywhere. Oh, best cruise ship for this, this, that, that. You know what Carnival did? They took all their fucking marketing money they could have spent marketing this ship and put it in the actual ship. Lachaim. Cheers. Well, that's the right way to do things. Let your end product, hey there. Oh, that's my gambling <laughs> friend. That's my, you don't have a drink. I'm just, I'm just drinking, right? I'm drinking right from the growler. Welcome to No Pants Profits. Hello, everyone. She's on the channel. You're working with the best. Uh, I mean, or the drunkest. <laughs> have, you, have you drank a lot today? No, just like two or three. I have a breathalyzer in my pocket. That's why I asked. But you're, you're not at a point that it would be good for TV. So, <laughs> No Pants Profits. No Pants Profits. So, let's talk about pizza. Sorry, I said, you know, pizza's usually up higher. I'm happy it's down lower. You know why? Because it's closer to the casino. After you, the casino closes their tables at three, you come get some pizza. Uh, this is Miami Slice, the embattled pizza company. You might go, why the embattled pizza company? Because Carnival has been sued for the last few years over using this name. Because there's a pizza shop in Miami called Miami Slice. And well, the way trademark law works is an interesting animal. Uh, but they have some pizza that is better than any pizza on any ship. I used to say, look, I used to say, what is MSC? MSC is carnival, but with better pizza. Uh, the pizza on this ship is actually better than the pizza on any cruise ship. Uh, and specifically the two unique pizzas, you have a, the La Habana pizza, which has ham, chorizo, gouda, mozzarella, and manchego, and the Picadillo pizza, which has ground beef, saison, gouda, and mozzarella. Um, and then down here, you actually have uh, the Deco Deli, which is kind of Art Nouveau style. And they have a Cuban sandwich. They specifically, my favorite one is the Croqueta sandwich. So that's my favorite is the Croqueta sandwich. This is included open daily from like 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Just the design, everything is just done so well right here. Um, and then we've got Rudy's Rudy's Sea Grill, which is actually a seafood restaurant, uh, and they, they make a uh, play with their food. I, did, I went here on my first time on this ship. I did not have the best time here. Brutally, totally honest with you, I did not have the best time here. And why I didn't have the best time here? Number one, I don't like seafood. Number two, kind of interestingly, uh, their systems went down that night and took me three hours to eat something that should have taken an hour because they didn't have an ability to transmit to the dining room to the you know to the back office and all that uh what was going on um but even like this is just, just so genius look they've made i this is my first time noticing this because i live in miami so it's never been a problem but this will work really well for me on uh on jubilee because i'm flying out to galveston for that these are ipads that are right by guest services these ipads by guest services are for bringing your boarding passes you just log in, you print your boarding passes, and send them to get services for your air player. It is so well done. It's just so well done. Uh, even, like, this is the shore excursions. Everything is done digitally. They got these iPads for you to do digitally. If you do want to do that behind-the-scenes tour that Carnival offers, you can book that behind-the-scenes tour right here. And uh, you just come on board the ship. You cannot do it before you're on. So you come on board, you come right to shore excursions on deck eight, and they'll allow you to actually book it there, uh, what you've got. 
you've got an ATM and you've got Carnival's little ATM. Uh, I think this is something we've talked about before. And yes, there's a, there is a guest services line. Uh, you can buy Carnival gift cards at a 10% discount from AARP. Yes, I'm old enough to be a member of AARP. Load those on your account and you're saving 10% on already accrues. That's a great value. Guest services line is a little bit backed up. It's the last day of the cruise. I've come by here once because I left my AirPods in the casino. That's the only time that I've come by here was the time I left my AirPods in the casino. And guess what? We're back to where we started. We're not done with the tour yet. We're back to where we started. You know why? It's kind of sad. That's really sad. You know what's sad? You see that? Hold on. I need like, oh, they have like, they have like direct, oh my God, I love this. They have directional lighting that I can use in the merchandise shop. It's sad because there's, there's only, there's like a quarter of a beer left in the tank. Oh, what do you got? Oh God, that's amazing. There we go. Wait. Looking, looking, looking. Hey. Looking for a butt? A butt snorkeler. Is, Oh God, you must want to eat your ass out. No, I want you. <laughs> wow. Holy shit, she wants someone to eat her ass out. Uh, that was not planned, but we're late enough in the video that I can, uh, I can make that joke. You know what it's time to do now? Hell yeah. We're gonna finish this beer and we're gonna order my favorite cocktail on the ship, which is the Smoky Watermelon That's margarita. a margarita. I was, I, I was getting confused because they have the the one in the steakhouse is different. That's the uh, Yeah, so what this guy? No, you buy it right here and it comes with five beers inside of it and then yeah, oh, hold on hold on I, I'm educating the customer Okay, so you buy I am uh, so so here's the secret I only have uh, two drinks, technically, on the beverage package so far today, but I've already had six. Because math is fun. Because what happens is, you get this guy. Uh, I'm going to need a refill, but i got to finish it first. And can I get a smoky watermelon margarita as well? The, uh, so you buy this here for 40 bucks. Comes filled with any of the beers they make here. So you have to like the carnival beers. I like the carnival beers. So it's just, and then it comes with any of the beers that they make here, and then you can refill it for 20 bucks. So a single drink, a single beer is $8. Five beers are $20. And then the cool thing is, I was just up on the pool deck with this because this ain't glass. They don't care. But can you buy it empty? You can buy it empty, I think, because they have the ability to sell it for the cheers package. It's the same, okay. You buy it empty, you just say, fill it to me, I'll give you 20 bucks. I don't have 20 bucks in cash. Uh, I'll give you, I'll give you this is negotiation 101. Uh, You're failing. What do you mean? Why am I failing? I'm selling a growler for you, come on. Uh, oh, you don't have them anymore? Well, shit, that's, they sold out. I bought mine the first day. Buy it the first day because they're going, they don't have, it's sold out. Unfortunately, unfortunately, they can't have mine. Uh, I will tell you, the camera is getting low, but I brought a battery. No pants profits. Yes, uh, the, the, okay, this is going to sound like a weird thing to Google. But if you go on YouTube and you type in Carnival No Pants, look, I don't know what else you're going to find. You might find some people with their doodads hanging out. But I, I'm no pants because I refuse to go to the dining room on formal night wearing pants. And I will take it up to the hotel director. I will take it up to the hotel director. I'm like, no, I'm not wearing pants. I'm not wearing pants. Next time you come first day, you get these. Like, But... Uh, Oh, almost done. I, I have not had beverage in there long enough to answer your question, man. 
I do apologize. Hey, don't worry, I'm still with you. I'm in the same spot. Camera battery just died. I was giving advice, which you saw, and some fucker comes up and it's like, oh my god, life changing advice. Uh, and I told the woman I had life changing advice. I, uh, I told her about buying AARP gift cards. So you can buy AARP gift cards with Carnival, 10% discount, cash them out, Biden Inflation Reduction Act. I, I, I told the woman about, actually, I'll tell you what I told her. I didn't give you this advice. See this? Wait, where is it? See this wine? You know what it is? It's a decoy. It's not wine. It's actually liquor. You can buy fake seals for wine bottles on Amazon and put liquor in them. That's what everyone does, but it's funnier when it says it's a decoy. Decoys are fun. Mm. I love decoys. Um, nobody knows that. Um, so I'm just telling you, the bartender looked at me all weird. Um, it's okay. It's a decoy. The guys talk about Ripple and XRP and stuff like that. So let's, uh, it's been a little while. Let's blow. You, you've seen what I drank. I got, I got a growler refill. I know he took all of it. I told him yesterday. Let's see where we're at. Trust me, I got more drinks behind me. See where we're at. See where we're at. See where we're at. Come on. These breathalyzers must be broken. But the good news is I have the best cocktail on the carnival ship. This is the Smoky Watermelon Margarita. Now, unfortunately, guys, Pig and Anchor is right by that pool. Remember we started by that pool? So they served it to me in like an, an ugly, uh, they served it to me like an ugly pool cup and I was like ah come on don't do that to me this isn't the tiki bar uh, but this is the best drink on any carnival ship it's available pretty much anywhere that has this guy's uh, pig and anchor oh damn oh I did the top 10 drinks on the carnival ship um, on the horizon a few weeks ago this is still number one Ugh. Still number one. Mm. So we do the math. I think we're seven drinks in because at the first beer, one of those. That gets us to six. That's seven. I swear, I don't have a limit. I have broken carnival. There is no limit. Because guess what? Technically, I'm seven in and only had four drinks so far today. But unfortunately for me, mm, well, that's good watermelon. I got two more decks to ship that I have to show you. Mm. Two more decks and the how much was the watermelon? Pay? The watermelon was eleven fifty plus eighteen percent gratuity. I generally wouldn't get that, but I wanted to show you my favorite drink. Uh, we still got two more decks to talk about, um, and unfortunately, we still have a giant growler of beer that's just been refilled, and we're only at the three. Uh, come on. 3.19, 3.19 p.m., so yeah. Took a little break to recharge the camera. I think I'm gonna have to go um, switch my cable that I'm charging my camera with, because um, it won't let me run the mic at the same time. But, I mean, yeah, literally, guy to my left, he's not here right now. So I told someone I was gonna give him life-changing advice. I told him about AARP gift cards and the fact that you can do decoy wine. And he told her about Ripple. Fuck like hat, Thank you, bud. He told her about Ripple. If you know anything about me, I like busting crypto scammers online. Ripple's a fucking scam. XRP, Ripple, all that. I wish I could. I, you know what? Can I, can, I, can I do something? I love you guys, okay? I promise you, we will come right back here. I, I will probably have some of my beer. 
now that I know that financial advice, I have to go find that woman and tell her she's going to get scammed if she does anything to do with that. Because that's what I do. I'm, I'm not a hero. Not, not, wait, is it? Not all heroes wear capes. He told the woman that I told to just sneak some fucking liquor on board. He told her to buy Ripple. And just intrinsically, I have to stop that. Plus, I have to charge my camera. So we're on deck eight. We've done all of deck eight. We've got to do deck seven and deck six. I promise you, I'll come right back to you at the same location. But I got to keep that woman from buying a shit coin. So I'll be back. I need to stop that right now. All right, so I found her at the pool, and again, not all heroes wear capes. Told her that uh, she was being scammed by that guy, because he's probably got a fucking bag of Ripple and wants to tell people to buy Ripple. I did not think there was going to be cryptocurrency in this video, but also, just it's like a side note, I am kind of a crypto expert. I mean, literally, that backpack that had wine in it, I mean, hold on, doesn't had, has wine in it. Also has a ledger in it. So uh, when it comes to crypto, I kind of, kind of, sort of actually really know what I'm talking about. So the good news is that motherfucker still has his bag. He still has his bag of XRP. Oh, the, the SEC said it's fine. And they won the lawsuit. And the... Ripple is a scam. That's what Ripple is. Sorry. Going off on a tangent, but again, not all heroes were case. But let's continue. We are at the giant. So these things were a million dollars each when they made them. Um, I mean, let's just let's knock on them. It's glass. Shit. I thought it was acrylic. I've never actually knocked on them before. I don't think they want you knocking on them. But it's actually glass. And those are the boilers for them making beer on board, which is weirdly cool. They actually make beer on a cruise ship. And my favorite beer they make, woo, that's the Parched Pig Amber. Cause guess what? Well, I mean, my favorite amber is Alaskan Amber. My second favorite amber is like a local amber to me in Miami. And my third favorite amber is this. My fourth favorite amber shits the bed. Her name is Amber Heard. But what we're gonna do right now is we've done the passenger decks, uh, and we did all of eight. Yeah, we did the pizza, we did all that. Just, we did the Havana bar, we did the pizza. Yeah, we're good with eight. Um, we need to do deck seven, and we need to do deck six. Deck seven's kind of a unique deck to do because the casino's right in the middle, the casino's open, and they really don't want me recording the casino. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna close my beer. I think I'll just sip it as we go along. But let's continue. I mean, you guys are like, unfortunately, this is like three video files now. So you guys are like an hour and a half deep into this. Uh, if you're still watching, I love you. This is for you. Uh, and if, if you're waiting for me to get drunk, really shitty shit face drunk, I am too. I'm trying. See, I don't have the cheers package. And in not having the cheers package, I saved a lot of time waiting at bars and talked to myself a lot more, talked to yourself a lot more. But uh, we're going down the stairs right now from eight to seven, then we'll do seven best we can while avoiding the casino. We might go six, seven, six, seven, <laughs> who knows. Uh, but we're headed to a space right now that I've not been to the whole cruise. And honestly, we're on uh, day seven, a seven day cruise. I don't plan to go to. It's the main dining room. Look, the main dining room on Carnival, do you know why the main dining room on Carnival exists? Alaska. I'm actually sailing on I think the Miracle? I, I could be wrong. I don't know my exact schedule. But I think I'm sailing on the... Hold on. I might be able to check. I say Miracle, like, questionably. Uh, I'm sailing on the... Hold up. I'll tell you which one it is. Uh, yeah, Carnival Miracle. 10-day Alaska cruise. That's when you have to deal with the dining room. Because it's an old-ass ship. But there's so many food options you've seen included here. But I've not even made it. This is our main dining room. I've not made it here even once. Now here's the important thing. Oh look, <laughs> no pants. Yeah, my channel used to be about losing your shirt. Now is because I refuse to wear pants on formal night. Uh, and <laughs> fuck, this, that's a rebrand. That's a rebrand. I want you to keep your profits, 
Plus, I refuse to wear pants on formal night. Formal night last, last night, no pants. First formal night, no pants. So I already own the brand, so why the fuck not go with that? Okay, so this is the main dining room. If you're on this ship, fucking forget it exists. Uh, unless you want free lobster second formal night. Uh, forget it exists. It's okay. I haven't been. Uh, it's the same menu they serve across the entire Carnival fleet. Why would you come here? Um, valid question. What is this? Oh, it's a feast. Some kind of thing. So this is the main dining room. I, I've never... I, can I be honest with you? I've been on this ship for a total of... Seven plus seven. Fourteen days. Thirteen days. Depends how you count it so far. I've literally never been in this main dining room. This is my first... I mean, maybe for a tour. Uh, you know, like when I toured it uh, for the last cruise. Uh, I've never been in this main dining room. Because there's so many other good places on this ship to eat included for free. That I've, I've never been here. I, I I get it. I get it that it sounds crazy. But there's no reason you should ever come. Oh, there they are. You see those, those little circle things? Those are the tables the waiters dance on. Again, I mean, I've, crap. Can I do the math? We did the steakhouse on the first day. We did emeralds on the second day, which we'll get to emeralds in a minute. We did on the third day, chef's table. On the fourth day, Barbecue. On the fifth day, emeralds again. On the sixth day, chebang. And tonight, the seventh day, we're going to um, the Casina del Capitano, the Italian place. There's no reason to go to the main dining room. This ship is legitimately so good that there's no need to go to the main dining room. And instead of booking Virgin, instead of booking Royal Caribbean, instead of booking any of those more expensive cruise lines, even though this is a better ship overall, it gets even better if you do things like the chef's table, if you do things like emeralds. Yeah, they're a little upcharge, but guess what? Toast you, you saved half your friggin' money just by not going on Royal Caribbean. Says guy who's going on Celebrity in a month. Well, going on Celebrity is a comp casino customer, so yeah. There's no need to come to the main dining room. I haven't been once, and I'm perfectly happy. Carnival got this 100% right. They have a main dining room for people that are intrinsically main dining room people, just as they have a normal Lido buffet for people who expect to go up to the top pool deck and have a buffet. They've got that. They've got what people are expecting, but they've got so much more than people are expecting. Like I said, I did a video talking about uh, what to do when you get on the ship. The last thing you do is don't do what people are expecting. Do the new stuff. Go to the pizza place. Go to the barbecue place. No one finds that till the second or third day. So you can take advantage with no line on the first day. But let's continue on. You see this? I like to talk about garbage fires. I talked about Virgin being in chapter 10 of their existence. Go to the next chapter very soon. A company that is the absolute scummiest, scammiest, bullshit company on earth right here, as represented on here, it's Park West. Their art is trash. It's picture, it's literally, they sell embellished declays. That is a photocopy that someone puts one stroke of brush on and they think it has value. It doesn't. Oh, they're listening to me. I see Park West people in the corner. It's trash. Just don't. Just don't. It's trash. Um, and we've got the steakhouse. Yeah, literally the Park West people. We're in the corner listening to me say their shit's trash. They know their shit's trash. I don't need to tell them their shit's trash. Uh, I'll, get, I'll get into a shouting match with them. If, if, if you want to see a fight on a carnival ship, it's no pants versus Park West. I got to walk by them. I just saw them glaring when I said their stuff is trash. Uh, it's trash. It's literally garbage. Uh, you should not spend any money on that. Again, my opinion, I'm entitled to have it. First Amendment. A clay, an embellished clay, is a photocopy with a single stroke of paint on it. That's all it is. But, we're in the steakhouse. I made a video earlier in the cruise. I said, if you're going to come to the steakhouse, come here on the first night because they give you a free bottle of wine along with your dinner. Is it a good bottle of wine? No. Is it an okay bottle of wine? No. 
Does it do the job? Yeah. I usually get, when I have the drink package and the bottle of wine at the steakhouse, I usually get far too drunk my first night on board the cruise ship. Uh, but, uh, and, and look, I'm drunk enough. I want to fight with the Park West guys right now. I don't know if that's going to happen. They, uh, they were sitting in the corner. You know why? Because no one wants to buy their shitty fucking art. Um, but... <laughs> Oh, oh, you guys are like, the last video he did, he was closing his eyes by this point. This video, I'm ready to fight a shitty art dealer. Um, but this is when the truth comes out. And if he, if he wants to, if he wants to come at me, oh my God, I want to fight a Park West guy. I'm sorry. Okay. So back to the steakhouse. Steakhouse is really good. Come on the first night. Um, you know, generally, later on the cruise, the uh, casino will comp you the steakhouse if you pay enough. I generally go to the steakhouse twice because, you know, offered to comp the steakhouse. And, you know, I was like, I've already been once this cruise. Okay, is there going to be a fight? I'm walking by the park with these guys. Shouldn't be a fight. Shouldn't be a fight. Shouldn't be a fight. Shouldn't be a fight. Oh, come on. Shouldn't be a fight. Penis embellished, you guys. Because some artists, okay. They, they stare me down. They know it's trash. They know it's trash. Oh, I survived. I didn't have to get in a fight with the Park West people. All right. So let's talk about what is the best bar on all carnival ships except this one. I know. This is the best bar on all carnival ships except this one. I was on the horizon a few weeks ago, and this is the best bar. This is where I hung out a majority of my time. Is that the Alchemy Bar? They make the strongest drink on any ship except this one, but on here, the strongest drinks are actually in the Tiki Bar. These are the second best bartenders on this ship, not the first best. Hey, oh! The drinks are stronger at the Tiki Bar. The drinks are stronger at the Tiki Bar. I come here on every ship other than Excel class. The Tiki Bar upstairs by the pool is actually a far better menu than here on this. Nope. I know I don't go off the menu. I was on Horizon three weeks ago. They don't have the Tiki Bar. Have you been to the Tiki Bar yet? Yeah. Out by the pool? Yeah. It's a better menu. I know you don't go on the menu. The drinks are stronger at the Tiki Bar than they are here. Uh, do they taste better? Yes. Worried about that. Yes. Yeah, they do. Uh, they do. Have you had a Jet Pilot? No. I don't like sweet. It's not sweet. Go up and have a Jet Pilot at the Tiki Bar. <laughs> okay. So I'm, I'm dead serious. The Jet Pilot at the Tiki Bar is stronger than anything they make here because it's got four shots of liquor in a single drink. If you want to get messed up, that, look, I love this. On every ship other than this ship, this is my bar. But on this ship, I go to Tiki Bar. Hey, look, you heard a conversation I had with people. I didn't say this is a bad bar. I just said it's the second best bar. And look, I'm an indoor cat. I'm fat, I sweat. I hope the Tiki Bar has better drinks. Again, I'm, I'm just ready to pick a fight now. I don't care if it's Park West or people who love the Alchemy Bar. Because the Alchemy Bar is a cult like bingo. Uh, and I'm usually in that cult. I can call it a cult because I'm in a cult. We're at the Limelight Lounge. This right here, right next to the Alchemy Bar, Alchemy Bar, is normally the nightclub. And I think they also do like comedy here or something. Is this comedy or what's... Okay, they normally do comedy here. But um, it's also the nightclub at night, correct? This one's the one that's the nightclub at night. But they normally do comedy, nightclub at night. They actually have two comedy venues on board. I've not been to this one. I've been to the Punchliner, which is on deck six forward, which we will get to. With the limelight, it's normally the nightclub. They also have some really, we haven't talked about this yet. They have some really beautiful staircases on board uh, that really, they reckon to or remind me of you know, kind of what MSC's building. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I call this uh, fake luxury. Oh. I'm just, I'm still dreaming about having a fight with the Park West guys. That would be great. They would just throw their bullshit art at me. Uh, uh, Park West doesn't operate in the United States uh, for obvious reasons, because they're a criminal organization. Their art is worth nothing what they say it is, and there's a reason they're on cruise ships. Sorry, did I say that out loud? Yes, I did. I kind of want to fight with Park West. But let's continue. Sorry. Um, so you got shops. They got liquor. They got lots and lots of liquor. The problem is you buy that liquor, you get it back on the last day of the cruise. You don't get it back before that, so you can't buy the liquor and drink it. Hey guys, 
You want a secret? Do you want to know a secret? We're going to talk about it. Okay, fine. So, if you do a back-to-back... God, I'm so drunk. I'm literally giving you all my secrets. Uh, If you've made it this far, congratulations. Uh, If you do a back-to-back, buy liquor on your first cruise. You'll get out on the last night of your first cruise, and the second cruise, you don't need a drink package. You can just use the liquor you already bought. Because the shops don't talk to guest services, and they don't know if you're on for the next cruise. I know that sounds insane, but they literally don't know that you're on for two cruises in a row. So your second one. The guys I want to fight just came by. The guys I want to fight just came by. They have these little douche suits that make them look like uh, Hugh Hefner. Uh, I don't want to put them on camera, but I still want to fight them. The the Park West dudes. I'll talk as much shit as I want about Park West. Uh, I, I don't care. I literally don't care. Okay, so... Sorry, I'm drunk and I hate Park West. Uh, this is the casino. We're not gonna go in the casino right now because it's open and they don't like cameras when the casino's open. Now, I filmed some videos when the casino's closed and you're welcome to take a look at those videos. They're on the channel as well. Uh, but right now we're gonna go around the casino. Now we are gonna talk about Celebration Central a little bit more. Now this is something we talked about when we were up on deck eight earlier, but this is a really cool venue actually. See, these screens are all electronic. They move around, they go up, down, left, right, everything like that. They're actually doing a technical rehearsal right now. The cool thing is you can like watch the technicals and rehearsals going on. Uh, They're setting up for the most magnificent circus, which there is a video of on the channel, uh, completely unmonetized. Uh, It's an interesting show. It's not a show I've seen on Carnival before. Um, Not a type of show that I've seen on Carnival before because it's not for the customer they have, it's for the customer they want. I think that is a very, very important designation. Carnival with this ship is going after, not Royal Caribbean, not Norwegian. They are directly going after celebrity cruises with the aerialist, with the Cirque type stuff. Literally, not the Cirque type stuff. They, they have a, they have a friggin' circus on board. Um, not the, I mean, it's a human circus. They don't have any animals because even Ringling Brothers is coming back and doesn't have any animals uh yeah this breathalyzer is broken as shit uh I want to I want to pick a fight with a Park West guy and tell me wait put this beer down for a second I literally have been wanting to pick a fight with the Park West people this video I don't know how this is gonna do I don't know how many people are gonna be watching at this point but um let's just see where we're at because me wanting to pick a fight with Park West people it's funny but Error. I don't know what that is. Let's try that again. Blow steady. Okay. There's a bunch of cheering going on over there. I don't know what the hell that cheering's for. Uh, but we'll find it. Four. Three. Okay. We got to be higher than 0.02. 0.0. <sighs> I mean, I've, I've drank seven, eight, probably nine drinks by now. Um, I didn't have much food before. 0.03. This breathalyzer is broken. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I've had so many breathalyzers, and everyone seems to be broken. Or maybe I'm just, like, really alcohol tolerant. You see, they're still setting up what's going on and everything. Maybe I'm just, like, super tolerant of alcohol. But I'm, I'm willing to go with the breathalyzer is broken instead, because... There's no way I'm wanting to pick fights with Park West people. Uh, and uh, <laughs> had a point oh three. <laughs> that usually comes out of me at like point one four. Yeah. Don't generally want to pick fights with Park West people. That's over. Uh, so we're going by. Let's talk about Celebration Central. And again, this is a very limited seating area. Uh, There's a very limited amount of seating here based on 6,500 people on board. uh, You know, you could probably seat about 1,000 people comfortably across deck 6, 7, and 8 per show. Um, What they've done is they're literally doing this show, which is the main show that goes on here, five times over the cruise. They used to do it two, maybe three, but they're doing it five times. They fixed the problem. People complained they couldn't get to see the show. What did they do? They kept doing the same show over and over until everyone could see it. Beautiful. 
whoever's making these decisions took literally all, literally all I have left. Again, we're, we're winding about an hour. All I have left in my criticism is the stairs uh, outside. Like, it's not really criticism. It's just too many fat people. Um, we're going to keep the camera pointed at me. We're, we're going to walk through the casino really quickly. Not looking at the casino. We're just going to... We're going we're gonna to book it because, unfortunately, on deck seven, this is the only way is to go through the casino. This is the smoking section of the casino. I'm trying to get out of here literally as fast as I got in. I just don't want to stop the tape because it's annoying for editing purposes. So, you get out. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Oh, this is something I get to do next, groups. This is the... Uh, the diamond party or the deck screws on that. Let me let me just sneak by here. Yeah, I'm not on my next cruise. That is the uh, the platinum party. I've been selling carnival for two years. Call me carny trash. Call me whatever the fuck you want. But uh, next cruise, you're gonna call me platinum. The theater. I saw a show in the theater last night uh, that was actually really good. It was called like Color My World. Uh, very impressed by that. Uh, you know, I'm not one to like throw to myself. I'm literally on deck six and a half. But insert clip here. glad you enjoyed that clip uh, they also do family feud so family feud is amazing they actually bought an exact replica of the set from the people who make family feud um, family feud is the best game show I've ever seen done on a cruise ship ever they do it uh, one night of the cruise they do it three times that night and people can win actual money now I'm not saying I've seen people win actual money because it's really hard to win actual money you get $500 if you get 200 points in the bonus round um, I'll tell you, uh, I kind of want to pick a fight today. Uh, you've got the Cloud9 Spa, which has the Spa Salon and Thermal Suite. And they were like, oh, you can't bring a camera in here last time. Uh, they got a little nasty when I was on my cruise ship uh, tour. Uh, but yeah, you've got Spa, Salon, and Thermal Suite. You'll see right there is the Spa. Again, not somewhere else. Not somewhere I would go. I don't like unknown people touching me. I don't like paying gratuities for services that are already marked to, up to hell. But to each their own. I have a fitness center on most ships. That's actually kind of a forward deck thing. But here, they've actually got it down, down forward and high. This is actually low. It's on deck six, lowest passenger deck. 
But you got some views outside and stuff like that. Bunch of machines they're using uh, Life Fitness. Again, they all have like partnerships with different brands. They're using Life Fitness. Looks like they've got. Are you guys uh, good feet? Okay. So you guys are you guys are Steiner. One World, uh, whatever the hell they want to call it nowadays. Right. At least it's not Canyon Ranch. That's right. that's all I can say. They gave up on life. They tried cruise ships for a little bit, uh, but yeah, you know. I, I, I like the fitness guys here. So like right. uh, there was a time I used to work on ships. I was an IT manager okay. and it was before this yeah. to the baby uh, was before the baby. And they helped me lose a bunch of weight. Uh, on, I was on celebrity. I know I can do it, but uh, I don't need seaweed to do it. Right. <laughs> I was, I, are you, have you worked anywhere other than carnival? Have I worked? I don't work, I don't work for carnival. Oh, I'm, I'm a guest. Oh, you're just smiling. Yeah, then just smiling, high man. five. Yes, I thought you were the guy who worked no, for, the, no, no, for the feed no. stuff. Oh, God. Yeah. That's funny as shit, actually. <laughs> I'm that drunk. Like, there's hey, literally listen. there's five beers in hey, each one of these. I've yourself. had this refilled a few times. You got a YouTube page? I do. Which no pants profits. No pants profits. Because I, I, I used to have an old reason I called it that, okay. and I'm giving that reason up. I only wear shorts to the dining room on formal night, and I will fight anybody who says I cannot wear oh, shorts to the dining room on formal night. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he worked there. Holy shit. <laughs> that, this is breathalyzer's fucked. Uh, but I still haven't closed my left eye. You know, for so, so, so dramatic purposes. If you've watched this video before, you know, hey, that's when this shit's going on. I just talked to a random ass passenger wearing a shirt that said NASA. And I assumed they worked for the spa. Holy shit. Um, so we're down on, uh, we're down on deck, uh, six. And, uh, there's a private function for something going on here. But this is generally the comedy club on board. This is the punchliner. We're not going to come in in private rugs. I just want to show you the room. It's actually pretty big, big for a ship of this size. It's like their medium-sized room, like one, one notch under the theater is what you've got there. And that's where they do the comedians, uh, you know, and they also do them in the theater. Oh, God, it's becoming hard to walk. Yeah, that breath is fucked. Uh, I'm wanting to pick fights with everybody. I want to have discussions with everybody. I need to close this up and go to sleep. But I want to talk about this in front of me. This is actually really cool. And this is something that... I actually got to see on Virgin. Uh, if you've heard about Virgin Voyages, they actually have a super secret bar. They do a super secret magic show in, and they used to do, when they still had the sex show, they used to do a super secret sex workshop. Uh, and down in that bar, they had the actual coins that were minted along with the ship and the keel and everything like that. And on Carnival, why this is the best, is everyone can see them. You'll see, there's the Carnival Celebration was uh, in 1985 and 2022 right there really cool picture i love it i think i have a shot with it i may use it as the thumbnail for this video look right now <laughs> you've survived uh, we're, we're, we crossed two hours i think we crossed two hours you've survived two hours into this video it's the longest cruise ship review i've ever done but here's the important thing my job right now i mean yeah my job right now is to prove to you that I'm not crazy. And if you're watching this long, you're like, this guy might not be insane. This may actually be the best cruise ship in the world. Let's talk that yet again, or next again, about the piano bar. Piano bar 88. Why do they call it piano bar 88? Well, because there's 88 keys on a goddamn piano. Uh -oh. And you'll see, it's not open right now because it's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's actually legitimately closed, but here's the important thing. Another cruise ship secret. If you lock something, you have to give every employee a key. If you just want to keep stupid people out, you do the opposite. Watch this. I'm pretty sure this is going to work. See that little lock? Yep. Works no problem. This is the piano bar. Piano Bar 88, uh, it only starts opening at like 9 o'clock at night. There's one night the piano player's off. Uh, this piano player literally looks like he escaped the uh, village people. Uh, I think he looks like the, the prisoner. Is that, 
Security guard, I don't know. The guy who wears leather assless chaps is what this guy looks like. I'm gonna insert in a video here. from that video uh, we're continuing on deck six I think now I'm trapped in here no I'm not okay good but uh <laughs> piano bar 88 right here so we're continuing on deck six we've only got this one deck to go and we're done so let's uh let's take a look a little seating area during the evening they clear this out and they put a uh, photo studio there and then you got the coffee bar. Now of note, both the uh, Havana bar, the Cuba bar we read earlier, and the bar right by the pizza also have coffee. So they have a little sign that tells you, this is how you don't wait in line for coffee. But guess what, does anybody read the sign? No, it's like the iTunes terms and conditions. Nobody fucking reads them. So uh, as the cookie crumbles. We got a drink station here that's open 24 hours a day. I would like, honestly, if I had one criticism, of this entire ship, entire ship that would directly affect me. Put a juice machine down here that's got like the lemonade and the orange juice and stuff like that. That's it. That's it. You're like, what is it? Like, I worked on ships for many years. I know how to review a ship. Uh, you watch this channel, or welcome if you're new, if you've made it this far. The biggest criticism I have of this ship is that they don't have. A free juice machine down at the coffee bar. Think about that for a second. When that's the biggest problem someone has with a ship, they're doing something right. But not, not something right. They're doing everything right. Uh, and then the coffee bar also has... Now, what is There's like a dividing line here. Are these snacks to the right of that dividing line are free. Cheese empanada, beef empanada. Hey, I made empanadas the other day in the cooking class. Uh... You get a steak and provolone sandwich, turkey, bacon, Swiss, 
buffalo cauliflower, chipotle pork wrap, but the stuff to the left of this line has a charge to it. But I highly recommend you try at least one thing from here. Uh, specifically, oh sorry, specifically I would try the donuts. The donuts are actually really good here. Oh yeah, peace sign. And <laughs> uh, you got the coffee bar, which even they tell people, instead of waiting in line in the coffee bar, just go over to bar 820, which is open till midnight, which is up on uh, deck eight, which is right by the pizza. But does anybody listen? No, people like standing in line. Makes them feel important. It, I think what we say in this point is you can't fix stupid. Um, Mm. Uh, all right so there's a rehearsal going on right now like we talked about upstairs and the problem is if you stay on deck six for the shows that are happening in this uh celebration central if you're on deck six you actually cannot see the stuff going on up in the air so you want to like i stayed on deck six the problem is this is very similar to a uh, virgin voyages show dual reality the best seat in my opinion is actually right on the floor on deck six. The problem is you are trapped there for 50 minutes, 5-0, while the show goes on. So be aware, understand. Oh, my growler's halfway full. I have to, oh, I'm closing the wrong eye. All good. So uh, yeah, the place to go is deck six, right by the stage. But the trouble is, you know, you got to, uh, you got to stay there. You can't pee pee or anything like that because the actors literally move around you. Again, I have a video of that. I want to talk about, though, this car. This is a 1934 Rolls Royce. And what's really cool, if you scan their little QR code thing, it will actually tell you this was on the Carnival Ecstasy and they cut it out of the ship, which is kind of cool. So you can scan that QR code. They cut it out of the ship to put it here and dragged it out the side from the Carnival Ecstasy when they decommissioned it. This is so Royal Caribbean. And you're gonna go, what? The next thing I'm gonna show you is gonna be so Royal Caribbean, you're gonna be like, holy shit, that, that is Royal Caribbean, you know why? Because the people that made Oasis came here, made Celebration. In the cruise industry, people move back and forth and back and forth and back and forth between the companies all the time. So uh, people made Oasis, came here and said, you know, we're going to have a, if we're going to have a Royal Promenade, which we will get to Carnival's Royal Promenade in just a minute. But if we're going to have a Royal Promenade, we're going to have an old ass car in a Royal Promenade. And if you're a Royal Caribbean person, you're like, okay, I get it. Cool. They also have a candy store. Unfortunately, unlike Horizon, this candy store does not have an ice cream shop inside of it. I like the Horizon one because the Horizon one has their own version of Cold Stone inside the candy store. But the candy store is actually run directly by Carnival, not by the third party that does the, that does the shops on board. Now, uh, this ship is also a museum of sorts. The Celebration is a museum of sorts because there was a ship called the Celebration before this. If you look at the back, it'll say 50 years of fun. This is Carnival's 50th anniversary piece. And I just think they've done such a great job. The problem is they have just such a shit name in the industry for the customers they have or had. Uh, they, they need to up their customer mix. I've had no problems with this, Honestly. Black, white, Indian, whatever. Look, I play blackjack every night. Well, the first night I played blackjack, a table full of black guests. And we were having a great friggin' time. I never played blackjack. We were all drinking, we were getting coconut waters, it was good, nobody got a hangover in the morning, it was great. But the problem is Carnival just has a reputation to shake off, whether it's real or not. Like my mom won't go on a Carnival cruise. My dad was like, you wanna go on a Carnival cruise? Uh, I, I go to my dad, you wanna go on a Carnival cruise? It's the best cruise ship in the world. And my dad's like, Carnival? The best cruise ship in the world? No, oh, this literally is the best cruise ship in the world until, until you know, until Jubilee comes out, uh, which, we're doing a tour on Jubilee too. We're just gonna get drunk and do what the fuck we want on Jubilee. But you see, they actually have like a museum of the celebration. You got a big ass ship model. This is usually in the office in Miami. 
uh, for the cruise lines, all these new cruise models, but they actually put it on the ship. And you could be like, you can literally look at this and you can be like, hey, we've already been there. Hey, remember that? Hold on. Shit, this is me being drunk and wanting to give you a tour of a fake ship, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm like, remember where we were? Right on the front of the ship, looking out? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good here. They're making smoke cocktails behind me, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, remember when we were on the front of the ship? Yeah, I remember. Remember that top deck we couldn't get to? Hey, that's exactly what it looks like in model form. Remember the, the hot tub we walked by? Remember we like we saw all those loungers that were open there? Remember the pool? You remember the screen? You remember the thing that uh, only white people do? That ropes course? Yeah, that, that's only white people do that shit. Uh, you remember the roller coaster? That we saw people going on? Remember that? Oh, they're missing. God damn it. God damn it. This model is not accurate. You know why? Because they're missing the big bucket. They're missing the big bucket. You might say, hey, Rich, what are you talking about? You remember the big bucket? Remember the big bucket? You'll see the red roof there with the little slope on there. But they're missing the big bucket. The roller coaster's there. The pool up there on deck six. I mean, it, ah, I feel like we're like redoing the tour right now on a model. Well, uh, uh, that's exactly what we're doing. Um, you got the, the pools on deck 16. You got the pool on deck 8. You got the dining room on deck 7 and 6. You've got, I mean, we walked by all these places. It's so cool. You see, oh, we didn't talk about the balls. Those balls right there, you see the balls? They're really no longer in use because this ship now uses Starlink. It was built with not Starlink. Now it uses Starlink, uh, so they just have a couple dishes. The internet is fantastic on this ship. I have nothing to complain about. Hey, look, even, hold on. Let's see if they got the place that I'm intolerant of here. Oh, look, look, you see, you zoom, you gotta zoom in. I don't have a zoom there, just pinch, pinch the zoom. See, there's the salad bar there. There's the salad bar there. There's the pool there, there's the seating area. I'm sorry. I might be a lot drunker than my breathalyzer says but also really cool they even have glass it's kind of weird that it's here to be honest with you uh because there's a mardi gras ship new too right before this they have glass from the original mardi gras this was originally on the mardi gras in god knows what year it's with canadian see it's mardi gras in 1972 so uh built for transit life services so this is one of carnival's first first class mayfair lounge Empress of Canada. This is one of Carnival's first uh, first ships. But then you have the Golden Jubilee, which is funny because the next ship we're going to go on, UI, Carnival together, I might have one before this, but let's not talk about that, uh, is the Jubilee. Uh, and this is the Jubilee Bar. And it's kind of an old class, kind of ship designs, everything like that. Really beautiful. And this was created for the 50th anniversary of carnival i believe that on the mardi gras the same area behind me is the fortune teller bar but it might not be this area it might be another area we're about to go to but unfortunately our time is slowly coming to the end because we're getting uh we're, we're getting towards the the end of where we can go uh but you know we still got one more section which is kind of like the royal promenade section but look what we got like we have well, I don't know if these are original or a prop, but like, as, as a captain, wearing a captain's hat, full speed ahead, half speed, dead slow, finished, fi finished with engines. Yeah, I don't think that's real. Uh, I don't think they'd really have that written uh, on the engines. There is another dining room here, which is just the main dining room. Nothing special. We talked about main dining rooms before. It's just because when you have 6,500 people on board, you got to have places to put them now they they have two seatings they have a select a, a, a rotating thing that probably has three seatings maybe four seatings but they know how to run a full ship on carnival i've not seen a line or anything like that oh hold on i spit on my lens they know how to run a full ship on carnival huh? sorry like, oh we're clean uh they know how to run a full ship on carnival uh which uh, Virgin has no idea how to do. That's why 
chapters t uh, 1 through 10 of their life were already done. And I don't think they're going to make it to chapter 12. Just that one after chapter 10. Um, but you see this right here? See this seating right here? This is where I passed out in my first video of this cruise. Uh, I'm, I'm making it... I mean, I don't have much beer left. Ugh. I don't have much beer left. This is going to be 7 plus 5. Okay, that's like 12. Um... I think, I think we, we got we to gotta get above. We got to do it. We're going to talk. We, we got to do it. Uh, we got to get above that 15. I'm not going to lie to you, though. I got to break the seal. I can't record in the pisser. So I'm going to pause this for a second. Like, literally, there's the men's bathroom. I'm going to pause it for a second. And I'll be right back with you. I think we're going to do two drinks at the Latitudes bar real quick. All right, so I, I just finished in the bathroom. It is currently 4.17. This ship tour has gone on for a while, but I've had to prove it. I want to talk about this bar real quick. And then I think we're going to sit down and order a drink because we've got to do some math. Uh, but this is the Latitudes bar. What's really cool is it offers drinks from all over the world. It's part of, like, the Royal Promenade-like experience that they have on a lot of the ships. Uh, and... I, I gotta do 16 drinks. I gotta do it. I'm sorry. Uh, like, I can't not do 16 drinks. But I gotta find something unique. I want the one with the bubble. I want the one with the bubble. I want the one with the bubble. Well, you were like, what is this guy talking about? You still have the drink with the bubble? I'll take one of those. Let me grab my card. It's somewhere here. Okay, we're good. Yeah, drink with the bubble. So, we got that filled times two. So that's ten. Uh, so we're twelve. Oh, wait. No, so that times two. Plus one, plus one. That's twelve. Oh, God. I, I gotta get to sixteen. I just kinda... I kinda have to. Uh, he's even set out the rose petals for me. I don't know. That means he likes me. Oh no! Let's uh, let's have some more of this while we wait for that drink. I mean, literally, the guy's got like Milagro tequila it's sitting in a bucket right there. So this is the airline themed lounge. You notice that they all dress like airline employees, and why they do that is because this has drinks from all over the world that's the idea is that you've got drinks from all over the world here he's making it right there again they're they're all dressed just like airline employees all right yep i am ready for the bubble so this is what is this one called sakura sakura so this is a japanese exactly and this one's unique to this bar correct some of the others are, are recycled from other bars i know all right, it's time for bubble. I make one uh, bubble. And then you throw the rose petals to bop it, right? Go. Uh, I got it. Let's go. Boom, shaka, naga. Ooh, thank you, sir. Uh, I think. Uh, I mean, look, there's still like a little bit of beer left here. Not that much, um, but I've just learned that my breathalyzers don't fucking work uh, because, like, I want to pick fights with people from the oh god, I want to pick fights with people from the art gallery. I want to uh, thank you. I want to pick fights with people from the art gallery. I want to talk to somebody about the spa that doesn't work there. Hmm, what's in here? I don't even know what's in here. Elderflower, pomegranate liquor, cherry bitters, uh, lime juice, and uh, this uh, snow maiden, it's like a Japanese, uh, Japanese uh, liquor. Elderflower, pomegranate, pomegranate, pomegranate juice, cherry bitters. lime juice, cherry bitters, and you said... And this snow maiden, it's like a Japanese... Oh, it's a sake, or wait, what, let me see, sake. let me see. It's, it's oh, okay, it's like a milk sake, it's yeah. like a milk sake. Yeah, ah. 
That's a good drink. I only know it as the bubble drink. I'm sorry. Like, that's... Oh. Oh, that's... Shit. Shit. <laughs> well, I mean, I only ranked it on Horizon. If you're still watching this, I love you. I don't know why you're still watching this. I should have already convinced you an hour and a half ago with the Lido deck two hours ago that this was the best cruise ship in the world. But this is literally like, I love this ship. And I love this video, but I love this ship. This is my favorite ship ever. And look, I'm a gambler. I can go on any cruise ship for free. That's just the way life is. Look, this cruise, I'm very green. Very green. Very green. Like, I don't know what they cost nowadays, but like a pre-COVID Honda Civic green. Uh, yeah, green, meaning making money. A pre-COVID Honda Civic. I'm like $18,000 green. And I can say that out loud. You know why I can say that out loud? It's because I already got a tax form for it. So I made 18 grand this cruise. Uh, and I cruised for free. So look, let, let me tell you what this drink costs. I'm gonna flip over the thing. That's a $12 drink plus $2.16 for tip. So this is a $14.60 drink. You see me angry? Are we gonna go up to the Tiki Bar and we're gonna do the strong, oh, look. I have, I'm just figuring this out right now. I have 38 minutes left on tape, but just in the SD card. I have to end where I began the last video with the two strongest drinks, the Tiki Bar. It's like, if I don't do that, I've done a massive disservice to you, the viewer. So um, we're gonna go above 15. So we oh, okay, no. finish this, that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We need one more drink to get to 16. We're going to do it. But this is a beautiful bar. And it's part of, sorry, I, I got on a friggin' tangent. Rose petals. They don't taste good. They cute, they cute, but they don't taste good. Enjoy, sir. Thank, Thank you. you, man. We're gonna have to, we have to do three more drinks plus within this bottle because guess what I've done once I do that? Oh, I get my card. Yeah, I got my card. I've done 16 drinks and I've broken Carnival because they say you can't have more than 15 a day. So I got it. The tiki drinks we're gonna end with. Mm. And look, some of it's gone on my shirt because I'm drinking it directly from the growler. Why? Because I'm a classy bitch. Uh, but let's talk about this. This, Latitude's bar. We're just that airline themed bar. Hey, why do they have an airline themed bar? Because they have this thing called the gateway. The menu changes every single night here. So this is South America tonight. They have Coralena seafood soup. They have Loma de Paria and Mojeja. Emeralds Bistro, 1397, which it's called Emeralds Bistro 1396 on the Mardi Gras, and it should be called Emeralds Bistro 1398 on the Jubilee because it's the build number of the ship. I'm just a wealth of fucking knowledge. And I love you, and I know why you're watching this. And some of you were two hours in this thing. God damn, this guy's still spitting out facts two hours in. I've shared like every secret I have on this ship with you because I've been drinking. Uh, but Emeralds, fucking fantastic. The best specialty restaurant you're gonna get that's paid a la carte. The Bananas Foster, holy shit. They have that every night here. The Bananas Foster with the Creole Cream Cheese Ice Cream. Oh, I didn't even know that was the flavor. I had it the other night. Holy crap. I'm going to bring my dad here tonight just to get him the Bananas Foster. It's that good. Uh, Creole Cream Cheese Ice Cream. <laughs> the, the menu changes here 
every night except embarkation day and the second formal night. They don't have a special menu. But what's cool is this is Carnival's answer to the Royal Promenade. You'll see you've got the windows, you've got a second deck, you've got everything like that. Carnival's answer to the Royal Promenade overall. Uh, but they have a drink here that I don't know if they have. Oh, they do have it. Oh, I want it. I want it. Let's try this. So they have a beer here. They don't have anywhere else because this is Emeralds. Emerald Legacy. Bam! Bam! You have the Abita? Yes. So I'll take the Abita. They have an Abita Amber, which is actually a really good amber beer. Um, and as Emerald Legacy says, BAM! Uh, that's, that's, that's the beer to have here. I think it's only here, right? The Abita's yes, only here. here. So, because uh, it, it's a New Orleans beer, right? Mm -hmm. So they, the cool thing is, Carnival has that, that class. That I, I close this because I'm going to drink another beer. Uh, they have that class. They have that intelligence. This is going to allow us to go up to the Tiki Bar. Here you go. Thank you, Mike. Yep, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Thank you so much. And that beer was $7.50 because you're still paying cruise ship prices. Um, but we got the Abita Amber Lager. I'm going to shotgun this because I like this beer. Uh, so it's only here because... Emeril Legacy is a, uh, he's known for New Orleans cooking. This is also the place that you should go for breakfast. Breakfast here is amazing. Look, I'm a degenerate. I'm a gambler. I've not made it for breakfast any day so far this cruise. But we got to get off before breakfast ends tomorrow. So fortunately, I live in Miami. It's like, uh, I'm actually taking the train tomorrow, the Bright Line. I might, might take you along a separate video not this video god damn this video's already gone two hours mm. okay let me just make sure 10 so that's two of that 10 we have the first beer 11 we have the watermelon 12 13 14 we're gonna do two drinks of the tiki bar we're gonna slam back the two strongest drinks of the tiki bar why because why the fuck not? That's where we're headed after we finish this uh, this section. Uh, that's a good beer. Honestly. Sorry, sorry, Carnival. Sorry, Carnival. The Abita Amber is better than your Parched Pig Amber. It's far better. Hmm. Oh. Exceptional. Uh, I remember that beer. So all we have to do is finish what's in there, because we will. We're going to um, go up to the Tiki Bar. We'll get two drinks there. Um, and then we're at 16. We broke Carnival, didn't we? Yeah, everyone, we did. We broke them. But I want to talk about the last section here while I finish my Abita. Uh, this is called the Carnival Kitchen. This is somewhere I've been three times this cruise. This is where you can learn all about cooking, uh, which is really quite cool. This is the Carnival Kitchen, fun with cooking. I've done three classes. I did a pizza class, a pasta class, and a tailgate class. I'm just going to maybe, no, don't, it's no working. Uh, you can you kind of see through there, but we have multiple videos that kind of hey, they kind of show you. She works in there. Uh, kind of show you what's going on. If I were ever go back to cruise ships, honestly, oh. honestly, if I were to ever go back to cruise ships, that's the job I would do. I would be the guy who runs the carnival kitchen. I think that is the most brilliant concept in the world, and I've heard that they're hiring. So you know. I don't actually want to go back to cruise ships, but uh, my old job that I worked on ships, running what's called the Eye Lounge on Celebrity, has gone away. Uh, I would legitimately, if that's literally all of the job responsibilities, is to run cooking classes in here. I ain't no chef, but I could play one on TV. Uh, I've got videos. On all those definitely 
check them out on the channel. Ah, oh, look. Oh, I, sp I spilled it myself. The Ibido's empty. But not to fear. We need, we need to get to 16. We have to. I mean, we've only, oh shit. No kids, I still have my troll bracelet. Oh, that was my watch. I literally, look, if you say kids are a problem, you know I had the troll bracelet to get rid of the children. And I still haven't used the troll bracelet to get rid of the children. It's, it's literally right here. A troll bracelet. I told you, I said, if I need to get rid of kids, I'm obviously gonna use the troll bracelet. Uh, wow, that elevator came quick. Reminds me of me. Oh, shit. Yeah, I said that out loud. Well, shit, I'm stopping on deck 15 because my drill wrong ass press 15 and I'm carrying around an empty, empty can of uh, amber beer. But we gotta do two more drinks. We just have to do two more drinks because I gotta go to 16. I failed on this ship at 14 last time and I'm not happy I failed at 14. Uh, 15. 15's a, a ghost deck. I don't need to be there. I've not had any food this entire challenge because why the fuck would I have food? It makes the alcohol not work as good. But my breathalyzer is beyond fucked up. You don't have to tell me in the comments that my breathalyzer is fucked up. I agree with you, my breathalyzer is fucked up. Um, we're on deck 16. We are heading to the Tiki Bar. Why are we heading to the Tiki Bar? Because we gotta get. Oh, look, look, there's a hole. Let's just throw shit in. I don't think that's for a can, but I was at the point I wanted to fight a Park West person like 40 minutes ago. I was at the fight, the, the point, you're with me. You, I mean, like, if you're still here, I, I said this like 25 minutes ago, but if you're still here, I love you. Um, this is going to happen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to drink 16. You know why? Because it makes a good title. It proves the point that you can go above 15. And it proves that, you know, you don't need the fucking drink package to do it. Because I'm not going to do this every day. Because my liver is like, liver me timbers. I give up. But we need to, uh, I'm saving. Oh, God. Hold on. Let's stop for a second. Oof. Oh, God. There's a lot more beer here than I thought. Um... There's, 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 there's a lot more beer here than I thought. But mm. we're going outside, aren't we? We gotta be hydrated. It's also five o'clock somewhere, as my shirt says, with Baby Yoda slash Grogu. Ugh, God. There's like two beers in there. That's not good. Not good at all. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Any of you think, oh, he's faking it or anything like that? No. It's fucking not. There's beer in there. And if you think I'm faking it, I had a whole conversation with a spa employee that didn't work in the spa. Oh, God. I wanted to fight with Park West people. I got 26 minutes left in this video. Hold on. Good God. I'm taking my hat off. You can see my male pattern baldness. This is rough. This is rough. You know why? Because before, I had to wait for a drink. Yeah, I don't want to have my backpack. You don't have to tell me. I know. Now, before, I had to wait for a drink. This, is, this has become a movie. This is... This came from like, Carnival Celebration is the best cruise ship in the world. From like a long, from like, let's, let's do a trailer. Hey, look, to a fucking movie. Um, which I'm totally not against. Um, <laughs> because advertising our money is good on a movie. But like, if you're gonna book any ship, there's gonna be so many hateful comments here to say, I'm just corny trash, you're wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm literally not wrong. 
this is the best cruise ship in the world. Again, Mardi Gras may be the same. I'm just saying, of the class. Of the class. And I'll be honest with you, I can be honest with you, can I be honest with you? I am going with Mardi Gras. I'm going to try the Fortune Teller Bar. Because I hear the Fortune Teller Bar is amazing. They have drinks like change colors and stuff like that. I'm good, thank you. Uh, they have drinks that like change colors and shit like that. Like, I've never been to the Mardi Gras, but I'm, I'm not shitting on the Mardi Gras by saying the celebration's the best in the world. The, the Mardi Gras is also the best in the world. The Jubilee is also the best in the world, likely. Um, no pants! Look at that! No, no, no fans, fans! Hey! hey. I, I, I'm thir I, I'm 14 drinks in. I got to do 15 and 16 at the Tiki Bar. Go ahead, handle that. 14 drinks in. Yes. Doing this stuff is so weird. Cause gonna be all like the first time I did this, like. There's a deep cut, okay? There's a deep cut between me and you. Um, first time I did this, I did this on my own. I was kind of playing on myself, you know? And then, after the first video of me drinking around the ship, got over 100,000 views. I'm taking selfies with people. It's weird. I never wanted to be famous. And, 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 and I think we've talked about this before. Nobody owns me. My opinions are my own. I'm not trying to sell you anything other than the fact that you're going to have a great vacation on this ship. Look, people that bitch and moan about this ship, like, there's a Facebook group, okay, for Carnival Celebrate. Oh, okay, I'm just finishing this beer, sorry. There's a Facebook group. We got 23 minutes left, we're good. There's a Facebook group for this ship, um, and they just bitch and moan and bitch and moan and bitch and moan. It was too hot. It's this, it's that. I didn't clean my room for two days. Even my dad is bitching and moaning. Love him. My dad's like, I didn't clean my room for... Yeah, because you're fucking sleeping in the middle of the fucking day when they want to clean your room. He's not getting this far in the video. Like, I told the cabin steward on day one that I want to sleep till noon, one o'clock every day, because I would be drunk in the casino every night. I love carnival. You can call me carny trash, you can call me what you want. But here's the funny thing. Nobody can compare to this product. And all I ever did was show my love for this product and how good of a job they did. I'm sorry to get emotional. All I ever did. This is not fake. Like, you gotta understand. People will shit on carnival every day. That's all I drink my beer. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm done with this. Uh, people will shit on carnival every day of the week because of their past. Look. Some of us have past that are interesting. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I closed my left eye. This time I'm crying. You know, Royal? Royal Caribbean's supposed to I got in the seas. This is not vague. This is like, this is drunk. This is real. Royal Caribbean's putting I got in the seas. I'm booked on I got in the seas. I don't think it's going to be as good as the ship. Nobody understands branding like Carnival. Oh God, why am I crying? Fuck, fuck too much beer, Let's keep going. <coughs> oh. No one understands branding like Carnival. No one understands the experience <laughs> like No one gets the fun like Carnival, look. Like, look, I'm not, not lying. That's so why you were like, last time you were like, this fat guy's close to me. For some reason, I'm fucking crying. Because, oh god, it's like one of them sad movies. That's a fat, sappy guy crying. This 
friendship's never gonna get the appreciation it needs from normal people. Oh god, why am I Where's up in here? Those of you like it's fake? No. Oh, I just put a little bit of beer on myself. Um, I, I thought it was empty. <laughs> People were laughing, but you know, like, look, this. I mean, now that I poured all the beer on myself, now it's empty. Uh, people are like to me like, oh, it's a trashy ship. It's just uh, not. It's not. This is literally the best cruise ship in the world. It's just, it's not gonna get the attention it needs because of a bad brand reputation. It's sad because the people that are virgin. People are not celebrity. People are not real Caribbean. People are Norwegian paying way too fucking much for their drink package. Ah, oh, don't get it. Because there's just a negative stigma on the brand. And that's why I get exactly what Carnival's doing here. They're, they're, they're doing this not for the passenger they have, but for the passenger they want. Did I think I was gonna be crying? Fucking hell! I was be crying with him in this video. No, no. But I guess for me, alcohol just makes me cry. But you know what I love more than anything else? Fucking love tea bars. So where are we now? At least I plan to be the good place to cry. I plan to be the tea bar. My mom. My mom. It's like. Oh. Carnival's trash. It's trash. It's shit. Because they've been programmed for that. They've literally been programmed for that over the years. And it's not right. It's not anything near right. This is the best cruise ship ever built. And look, do I care that it's a small child sitting to the left of me? And a tiki bar? No. Jet pilot? Jet pilot? Her. Jet pilot. Jet pilot. Jet pilot's the right answer. I'm a tiki bar. I have the orange version of that shirt back in the cabin. It's just, it's too hot to wear when I'm drinking as much as I am. Uh, God damn it. Oh, do you want to get fucked up? Jet pilot's the right answer. Jet pilot or uh, not jet? Uh, what's the other one? Uh, zombie, right? You have a zombie too. Jet pilot and zombie. Look at those two. That will. That is triple shot. I know you do, but a jet pilot is like the equivalent. This is a tiki bar. So the jet pilot is the equivalent. If you see it on the menu, I, I don't even look in the menu. Uh, but jet pilot's the way to go. It's strong. You have a drink package? No. Jet pilot is the strongest drink on the ship. Stronger than a Long Island iced tea. I love Long Island. I love Long Island iced teas. I go to the casino every night. I get Blue Long Islands. A jet pilot is still stronger. Sorry, I was explaining to a fellow bar patron that the jet pilot. It's the drink to get here. Uh, oh, that's not my that's not my check. I'm gonna tell you what this costs, so you know. But I won 15 grand at the casino last night, so uh, not a big deal. I got 16 minutes left on tape. I'm gonna chug this one, sip the next one, then I'll blow. Fuck. Uh, but it's sad. Like, oh, fuck, I'm gonna cry again. That guy cries on video. I, I, I get the comments. Like, like, I can get the comments before I do this, but if, if, if you've made it two and a half hours into this, like, I, I'm not an angry drunk.
I thought I wanted to fight Park West fuckers, because, I mean, I always want to par fight Park West fuckers, but I don't, like, want to fisticuff fight them. This ship is not getting the recognition it deserves, because Carnival doesn't buy the reputation. They left their ship, and they fill their ships, like, I'm a Carnival shareholder, but I'm really sad. And People go on other cruise lines. It's just not this good. I have this ship, Mardi Gras, Horizon, and Jubilee books. Oh. Oh. They're my three favorite ships. Like, I, I have no words. Like, that's the reality. Think about it. This is the Jet Pilot. This is drink number 15. That, <laughs> this thing is empty. Right here. <laughs> I love tiki bars. Like, I'm sorry. Like, you were like, fat guy's gonna get violent. I bet you no one had on your bingo card. Fat guy's gonna cry at the end. Not only am I gonna cry. <coughs> oh god. Not only is the bot guy gonna cry to get. Can I get a glass of ice water? Oh. I need some water after that. Never shotgun a zombie. I'm at 15 now. I mean, you know what? I can't do it here. It's too much. I can't do another tiki drink. I know you want me to. But I already know I have to end. And I hate paying for it. Oh, I don't want to blow chunks. Okay, we're good. That sip of water did it. I'm glad you got it quick. We're at 15 drinks right now. Carnival doesn't know it. Because we hacked it. If you look at it, guys. Lots to throw up by camera. So much right now. But also knows that all I have right now is a growler. I'm keeping a little just in case. If you watch this long, holy shit. Thank you, bud. Another twelve dollar drink. You see it coming up. I, I get you. This is like his breathalyzer's broken. Nope. No shit, it is. Um. But I'm not letting it come out. I'm just not doing it. I got eleven minutes. I finished the drink. I got one butt light in me. Got, oh, sorry. Sorry, I gave away what I'm going to do. And, uh, I signed already. Uh, $12 drink. $14.16. So this be a, uh, recurring theme here. Hang on. What? Bud Light. You have my number there? Uh. 
Where some remnants of that zombie left? It's gone. Thank you. Oh, good God. I just paid $9 for a Bud Light. Half of you are going to like that joke. God damn, what can you charge for a Bud Light here? Seven fifty plus a dollar thirty-five service charge. I'm okay. I mean, I made money in the casino. I'm not angry. Uh, but yeah, like literally, drink number sixteen. Like, you've seen this. Like, I, I've not lied to you. I'm not cheating on you. I've told you. The, oh, a little bit there. I've told you the truth the whole time. I've stopped try, crying. Um, I have. Uh, 90 minutes and 30 seconds left to talk, and I'm going to do it. I'm going till the end. I am going till my recording turns red. I love carnival. Uh, you know what's funny? Here's the question. Uh, this is a good joke. Those of you this deep. What is... I love that they're playing steel drum music. You know why? There's no copyright on steel drum music. Oh, steel drum. We're outside now. Um, what is the same between Bud Light and having sex on your balcony? They're both fucking close to water. I know I can drink a Bud Light. Why? Because it's basically water. I got drunk. I told you the truth. I never lied to you. I, I, I understand how operationally a ship is designed to be run. I've stood in as hotel director on cruise ships before. I'm not wrong here. Like, a lot of you are looking at me. Uh, have you been it this far? Maybe you believe me. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're just like, will the drunk guy fall down? Can the drunk guy negotiate stairs? Yes. Just yes. When I'm sober, I hate Bud Light. But when I'm drunk, Bud Light tastes good. And look, in the end of the day, hold on, let's do the math. Do the math. I filled this twice, right? So one, two. Got a drink before, three. Got the margarita, the watermelon margarita, four. Got this, five. Got that, six. I'm only halfway through. What the casino's gonna give me tonight? I'm not gonna lie. After this video finishes, I am gonna pass the fuck out. Because I've been doing this since like 1.30. It is literally 4.55 right now. I can't fake things that are on that screen there. Like, I wanna give you the honest answer of why this ship is the best ship in the world. And all I get from everyone is Carnival's trash. Like, there's a dickhead, right? I'm gonna put this picture right here. That's like, oh, you're a carny piece, people. I think Carnival, and so does the market, the market get perspective. I think Carnival is the best cruise line in the industry. If anybody thinks anywhere else, you've seen me live. You've seen me get service. You've seen everything. Like, I don't have anything to hide. Shit, I'm gonna cry again. The butt light. Shit, they call me Dylan Mulvaney. I can make that joke to stay in the video. It's, it's just, like, I wanna be a bat oh, in a bubble bath with fake tits. I'm pretending it's my hundred, the 365th day of girlhood. Yeah fucking joke as you want, but uh, Carnival gets it. Carnival celebration, Mardi Gras, soon to be Jubilee, is the best cruise in the world. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Look, the casino's good. <laughs> the casino's real good. I got a big jackpot. The casino's not going to fight me on that thing. Uh, you know, I love everything about this ship. 
I took my dad on this ship. Who's was sleeping in the cabin now. That's why you're not getting a cabin tour. My dad has passed the fuck out in the cabin. Um, I took my dad who's sleeping in the cabin now on the ship because it is the best ship in the world. A lot of people will say that I'm wrong. And those people, those of you who get it, I'm not crying for them. I am crying for the people that say I'm wrong. I got five minutes left. I'm just letting you know. The people who I'm crying for are the ones that say that I'm wrong. I'm not wrong. That's what's fun. I know I'm right. I've taken many friends before on, look, Horizon, Vista class, Horizon and Panorama, and Vista, my second favorite cruise in the world. They're just missing Big Chicken and this, this beautiful, beautiful freaking tiki bar right here. I wanted to do two tiki drinks. I mean, I'm too drunk. I'm gonna throw up if I do a tiki drink. I'm just being honest with you. Like, I'm, I'm now like standing up. I was sitting down like three seconds ago. Why am I standing up? Because I got four minutes left in the video. It's just what the SD card holds. Uh, I gotta drink this to a breathalyzer. Close this out in four minutes. Uh, Uh, Bud Light's a hard drink, even when drunk. Yeah. Bud Light's a hard drink, even when drunk. Uh, many people won't give Carnival a chance. I really wish they would. I have a friend that right now, like, he's an MSC guy. He believes in Virgin. Again, Virgin's on Chapter 10 of their existence. Soon to be the next one. You know what that is. Chapter 11. Oh, no. Can't say it. Can't say it legally. Legally? Legally? I can't say it in the video. Chapter 11. Uh, you know what comes after 10 and, be, and before 12. Uh, yeah. But I got three minutes left in my video. Three minutes left in my SD card. I love the celebration. My favorite cruise ship in the world. Oh God, I don't know what this is gonna say. A lot of you gonna be like, "What? I got the 16 drinks. It's so very clear. You can count." Calculating. Is this scientific? No. Is it drunkatific? Yes. I have two minutes left. <coughs> really? This breath is just fucked. <laughs> Point oh four. You saw what I drank. I drank it all with you live. The spotlight's empty. Amazing. This beer growler, second fill. Oh shit. It's empty. We save someone for buying Ripple. Not all heroes wear capes. I have one minute and 13 seconds left to talk. This is Richard from No Pants Profits. Trying to show you why the carnival celebration is legitimately the best cruise ship ever made. It sounds insane. Like, cause you got Wonder, you got Icon, you got all that shit. And they're all wrong. Cause I'm not owned by a travel agent. I'm not owned by anybody. I'm just me. I'm a guy who wears no pants to the dining room. And I'm here to remind, oh, someone just got an alcoholic drink. Reminding you, less 32 seconds left on the camera, that when you wear no pants, 
there's only one thing you have left to lose. And you know what that is, guys? That is your shirt. This is the red shirt from No Pants Profits saying, Carnival Celebration is the best ship in the world. And uh, much like the Park West, guys, if you think I'm wrong, you can fight me. Have a great one with a 10, 9, 8. Have a great one. When you wear no pants, the only thing you have left to lose is your shirt. Have a great one. Bye!